Fix the, I fixed the sound. Hello, everybody. I fixed the sound transition, but I think it's still not quite correct. Uh, good afternoon. Good evening. Uh, this is Thursday. We made it. And um, every time I like start streaming, I always do like one or two things that I should have done right before I start. Like, I, like open my iPad, open the stream deck. Then there's like text messages I start reading as I start talking. Let me ask you this. And I, I don't think there's anyone here so I can have a conversation with myself. It's the best time, I think. Uh, are you the kind of person who shows up on time to a stream when you see the go live? Or are you like me, which is the other kind of person? And that's the person who shows up, sees that the go live message has happened, but realizes that like it's in the start screen. And you're like, ah, I don't, I'll, I'll come in when they start streaming, right? Like I, I want to see the content. I want to see them. So do you like go and watch another streamer and then come back in like five minutes? Or in some cases, some people like 20 minutes. Uh, I think some people are really funny. Like I'm the, I, I get the idea of like, I just let my run, like mine ran for like five minutes. They're like, we're getting started, getting ready. I like wine humans. She has like a bunch of little sayings like grab this, get that, get this. I might steal that actually. And then, but I mean, like some people, oh no, I'm not this, wait, this isn't about you, Molly. No, seriously, this is not about you, Molly. This is like my own, uh, this, this, this is my own thought process. Don't get cocky, uh, I, I find myself, I find myself doing this. Like there, I'll, the streamer message will come up and I'm like, oh, cool, they're on. Then I'd get in there and it's like, they're on the, like, we're getting rem, rem, repped, ramped up, getting started uh, screen. And I'm always like, uh, all right, well, yeah, I'll come back in a little bit. I'll come back in a little bit. But some people, including yours truly, Molly, you, I will, I will be there for the opening screen, for the banter, if you will. <clears throat> How's everyone's Thursday? Mine was not as productive as I thought it might be. Um, oh, wow. I worked for a third division football team in America years ago now. And the, my, uh, my friend's sending me a picture of a logo that is a complete ripoff of our logo. Uh, holy crap. Unbelievable. It's not, it's not bad. It's a good color scheme. Thunderbirds. I'll have to look it up. Have to look it up. Yeah, I'll show it to you, Malls. Um, had a good Thursday. Yeah, pretty laid back. I didn't... Um... Oh, Malls wants to see it now. <laughs> uh. Oh, my God. <laughs> right? It's, it's just a pure 
I'll post it in the Discord that no one, that I haven't started yet. And uh, someday when you're looking back on this VOD, you'll go, oh, now I know what he's talking about. That's dragons, yeah. Um, so I didn't do any video. I didn't, I did some video editing today, but I, I, I told myself I was going to, I was going to take it easy on the uh, video editing front today. And um, I have a, I have, I'm about halfway through an edit from last week that I will get up tomorrow for sure. Um, I reworked some of my opening and closing intros because the music in there was questionable. And then uh, I cleaned up some other stuff and I was, I'm trying to, I'm getting back into, you know, I, I look at Reddit every day. Hold on just a sec. I'm dying over here as usual. I look at Reddit every day, but I've been, uh, you know, I have a new Reddit account, so I'm trying to build it up and I'm trying to be more engaged. And I've had some good conversations, some fun stuff, surprisingly enough. So maybe this was always what I needed to do, which better for my, better for my head, better for my heart, that sort of thing. Uh, all of the kids are playing Grounded too. Uh, the Ladybug Reckoning, the the Sprout Reckoning, the Bamboo. Bamboo of Blood, uh, Spider, Spider King, I don't know, whatever you would give the grounded, what is it, what is it called? What's this game called that everyone's playing? It, it's basically grounded, um, except for maybe, it, it's, it's, but it's, it's, it seems like it's based on the Unreal Engine instead, it looks like Ark. Molly, help a fella out. Are you trying to talk shit about a fairy game? No, I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm not talking shit at all. Like, I want to play the game. It looks fun. Um, I just can't for the life of me remember what the hell the name of it is. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, everyone else is playing this game that's called something, Grounded 2. Uh, the the <laughs> Grounded 2 Fairy's Revenge. Uh, and I've watched... I was watching a streamer right before I came on and I watched a couple others on and off. Small Land. Small Land. Grounded. A Small Land adventure. Uh, I watched some of it right before I came on and it... I, I mean, I, I don't know how different you make a game like that, but uh, in terms of bugs and... Uh, trees and it's all pretty much the same so we'll see i'm hoping to play it probably play it over the weekend if i'm lucky if i'm lucky wink wink um i know molly i think is going to stream it tomorrow so and it looked like some streamers are having some problems with it so we'll see in terms of um it being able to handle the computer so what is this music i've got picked here i don't know so small land, and I realized that like a lot of, a lot of bigger streamers, which I'm not even close to, yeah, right, they're going to move to the hottest, newest game, uh, but not here, not here at Drax Fantastic Land. We are going to stick with the tried and true terraforming games because that's, that's our bread and butter. That's our trees and water. That's our air and rock, if you will. So... Uh, yesterday at the end of stream, we talked a lot about what we're going to do next. We're going to outline that in a second, but this final, this final, before we get into the game, let's talk just about another game real quick. And I'm going to pause again. Good Lord. Uh, spend the whole day. Pretty sure you just said Anno. Anno? Anno, anyone? Anno? <laughs> Casual, what's up, man? Uh, I, 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 t I think I was telling stream last week. I was watching, I was watching Wine Human play Anno, and I was like, oh, I'm going to play some Anno. And I went to find it. And I, I've, I've played Anno 1800, I know. But I must have played it like on a free weekend or something. I don't own a copy of it. I looked in the Ubisoft store. I looked in all of the gaming store places. I looked in Steam. I looked in Epic. I looked everywhere. And I don't own it. So uh, we could play Anno 1400. I own that. <clears throat> um, 
So yeah, we're going to play Planet Crafter again today. And uh, free. Yeah, they do a lot of yeah free weekends. Yeah, a lot. It's, it, yeah, they're like... It's like crack. They're trying to get you hooked on it. And it's a great idea for a game like that because it would be very easy to start a game and get get you know get halfway into it then the weekend ends and you're like all right well i'll give i'll give him the 40 dollars i'll give him the 40 dollars but i don't own it so and i should i probably should have bought it was like four, it was 14 dollars i think it was on sale during the steam the audio attack is too aggressive on your transition yeah how did how did it do that time <laughs> It did really bad during the transition from the from the uh, starting screen to the get to the AFK screen. So it's <laughs> you're you're saying that my your mic was super low. Oh, I see. All right, <laughs> but maybe and maybe it's also I shouldn't I shouldn't talk during the transition. Man, no, that's not going to happen. Yeah, I'll just wait quietly during the transition. Here, hold on. Let's... <laughs> let's. The question is, where, where, where does it start and end? <laughs> Drax not talking? Yeah, right. I got a bit of a... All right, let's try it again. Yeah, so let's start the game. I'm like counting in my head. <laughs> uh, all right. I, um, we, I was talking to Molly right before the stream started and we, we've done a lot in Platic Crafter in the last two days, like a ridiculous amount, actually more than I thought we would achieve more terraforming than I thought we would be able to accomplish. And we left it yesterday. Uh, very verdant, very beautiful. This is, it isn't doing the dual. It was putting out two crops in one yesterday. If we look at the if we look at the big board, we we almost doubled. We did. We doubled our GTI index score. It was like sixteen when we started, and we're at thirty three. And almost everything we did yesterday was. I focused and I didn't like get too sidetracked on secondary things or exploring. I stayed pretty true to like, let's terraform, terraform, terraform. And, um, that's what we did. So uh, we unlocked, uh, these wonderful. Yeah. There's a lot more to unlock. Surprisingly enough. Hold on. I got to get some, I got to drink some water out of this pond over here, which seems real safe. I guess I should. The drinking thing is like, don't look for the little thing to come up. Just go into the water and start clicking and then you'll drink. I was. Yeah, we've got a lot more to unlock. The coolest thing we unlocked uh, yesterday was by far um, the teleporter, which is a game changer. Step in and it teleports you all the way across the map. So you have to, of course, have built them. But, mm, and then, and then right back, home station. Have you done any of the story yet? Um, that is an excellent question. There's a story. Uh, the, the only story that I know of is, yeah, that's not true. We've unlocked, we've unlocked a bunch of the. We've done all the keys. If that's the story, then yes, we've done all the warden. I think we've done all the warden keys. We've seen, we've gotten all the way to the, to the five keys to the city that opens the door and shows us the orb. But my question is like, and maybe this will be the end game is where did all the people go? Right. Did they actually like all the guys that crashed on the planet, they just died and did their bodies just disappear? Or is, is the end game of this story, some monster that, it's like a Sarlacc monster and, you know, it's over there in the desert. We haven't found it yet. And it swallows you whole. The end game is just you being slowly, slowly digested over the next, you know, 
you with everybody else down there who's had a miserable time landing on this planet. Probably sandworms. Uh, do we have more to unlock? Yes. We, in the in the big thing, we've got drones still. So we're still, and we're, we're 33 and it's a 78. Like that doesn't seem so, yesterday we were like at 12 and I was like 78, we're never going to get there. Um, the fusion cell is about turning the ships on. So we need that. That's at 66. We hit, well, we're going to need to print circuit boards at some point. And that's 160. So, and then being able to make pulsar crystals. I think everything else with this water collector is right around the corner, not even close. And then I think we've unlocked all of these. And then when it comes to the biomass section, I mean, we got fish uh, to still unlock. So, and the aquarium. So there's there's still stuff that I have that I haven't done. I mean, none of the animal stuff is unlocked yet because we're not to that phase. But uh, so I can't decide. Like I haven't been playing at the fastest pace. I've definitely sped it up this last three or four days. So I was trying to decide. You know, today's Thursday. It's what, what are we on week three of Planet Crafter? Week two. Uh, I'm still enjoying it. Like it's not. I'm not bored. It's not. I'm not slowing down. So I think we'll probably play, <clears throat> depending on how the day goes, we'll probably play some more next week. I'd like to unlock drones and see how they, I mean, everybody I've seen that unlocks drones, they like get lost in this automation part of the game, which I'm down for. Uh, if there's math involved, I'm in, right? If we have to like calculate how many of something will come from one machine to the next to calculate how many will be delivered to the next machine, that will be delivered to the next machine. Let's do it, right? Like that, that let's get a spreadsheet going, right? <clears throat> so lots to do. I'm pretty sure I'm done with the, uh, other than firing up the ships, which, you know, in, in the ships, there's, in a couple of the ships, there's big fusion reactors that call for, I'm guessing are those fusion things you've got to build. So you can totally spreadsheet Anno. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, my play style on Anno, I, cause I the, uh, was watching wine and she's like very meticulous and like, it's, they've got such a good way of playing it and thoughtful and planning it out. Mine's like, okay, what do we need? A lot of rum. Let's get a lot of rum. Oh, so yeah, that teleporter. I mean, I just instantly got a ton of super. Uh, as the stream title says, we will be farming mushrooms if they come up. We're going to be doing, we're going to take all the tier two tree spreaders, say that 14 times fast. And we're going to trade them out for the tier three ones because they are a gigantic upgrade. Not just like a little bit of an upgrade. The If you looked at the very bottom of the screen there, it says oxygen produced is 8,500 a second, and then plants are 1,250. If I'm not mistaken, the tier two was like 2,500 oxygen and 300 a, 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 a second on plants. So, and it's not much more... Hey, Marcus. Yeah, beers and notes. Um it's not much more material. And when we pull the one down, we're going to pull most of this out of there. I think we're going to have to produce one tier two fertilizer per tier two. I think there's eight or nine of them out there, maybe 10. So I think doing that will greatly increase our, um, our GTI, our overall GTI number. It's funny because I was, I haven't been focused on this number at all the entire game. I've just been sort of, it's been plugging along and unlocking stuff for fun. And now I'm like, got to follow that number. Got to get it. I just realized I spent the whole day today. I made a list of things um, and I didn't order something that I wanted to get. And it's Thursday, which means it won't come till next week now. Cord. That's okay. That's all right. Um, so let's go pull one of these. Let's go pull one of these T2s. 
and see. And yesterday we like cleaned up. Whoa, I thought I pulled all of these out of here. These drills. And I thought I put them on the hill over there. Look at them all on the hill over there. Hilarious. Let's pull these last three then move them over there. Oh, maybe they're not actually here. No, they're here. Can I hold all three? Yeah. Good. Um, we cleaned a bunch of this yesterday. We took all the old drills out. We took all of the old power stuff off. We took the roof off the building. Our, our, my end goal today is... Um, that's 14 times faster. Uh, hey, Baldrax, what's up, man? How are you? Um, my end goal today is to rework this part of the base too. So we'll see if we get to that. So it's fix the tree stuff, add some more biomass, add some more of these guys out here in the pond, um, rework the food and rework the building. And I think sort of in that order. Hold on, let's put these. Let's put these over here. Did I pull? I pulled three out, right? I like to put these on unusable land. <laughs> All right. Maybe, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that's funny, but I think it's hilarious. And also we got so the oxygen outside, the planet's breathable. So you'll see the little infinity sign below my O2 on the left corner there. So honestly, now the food lasts a pretty good amount of time. Uh, we don't ever need oxygen anymore. And we can drink water from the outside source. The water go do goes down really fast now. So, um, I mean, easy mode, easy mode. All right. So this is a tier two. And we got to take the seed out of it and then deconstruct it. Still think it, it looks like it takes the trees with it immediately. Like the trees don't like they're stuck. Isn't it just a cedar? I don't get it anyway. So what do we pull out of it? Uh, one tier two fertilizer. I honestly think, yeah, the only thing we're going to need for these is another tier two fertilizers. So maybe we just make 10 tier two fertilizers and then we just go around and pull them and this will be the easiest upgrade. Oh boy, someone's knocking on wood. This will be the easiest upgrade of all time, right? I already have one, sweet. Hey, how you doing? What do we need for this? Methane and squash. And actually, and I don't, wait, what? Uh-oh. What do we, oh, you know what it is? <laughs> I'm like, what are we missing? Oh, yes, they can't be in your bag. They have to be in the actual, in the crafting unit. In the crafting unit. All right, and then... Make some more of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Let's make 10, I guess. Seven, eight, two more. And then we'll go out there. Easy mode. I don't think we're going to need anything else, honestly. Yeah, the, f the food situation just needs to get reworked because there's just... Like, we're going to need a lot more, and I feel like we're, we're always fighting these f full bins. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's go. We pulled, we pulled one out over here. We're going to need more than 10 because it takes... Well, no, there's one inside, so... All right, let's... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, look at the radius on this song, bitch. And see, there, instead of two, there are three. And then we got to remember to put the tree back inside of it. And then we should see it start growing. Maybe. It's like watching paint glow. Yeah, here we go. 
All right, so then, and then we should see these fun little, hi guys, oh, rare? What, there's just two rares right next to each other? That's more like it. Oh, those things are gross. Um, all right, so keep keeping us. Okay, so now we'll, now we'll know for sure. If we pull this out and all the trees go away, I'm going to laugh. Oh, hold on, we got to pull this out of here. Yeah, it takes the trees. How does that, how, what, it, uh, what? I guess the mechanic, it, well, it's, I'm guessing it's, it's tied. It's probably something graphical, probably something they made a choice on, but it also probably stops you from like just building two of them and slowly just kind of moving them around the planet as they put trees in. But I mean, <laughs> that they come out after the thing is gone doesn't, doesn't seem very realistic to me. All right, so that's two of them. Hello, guy. All those pretty trees. All right, let's see if these let's see if these little guys. The growing process is pretty hilarious. Nope, not yet. When there's just like two little tiny trees and they just kind of like burp, 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 burp. Boom, boom, boom. like what so what's like here's some maybe just a gra graphical glitch or is that like what's coming out of that one that's whoa that's quite a radius where the hell is it coming from that one way over there yikes yikes I put these energy turbines down here at the very beginning of the game. And probably, what's in here? Is this thing full of stuff? <laughs> I guess we'll we'll leave this for now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we've been playing, what do we think, 20 minutes? So is it every 20 minutes you get some kind of new storm? Did anyone see it? Blue sky night. I heard something crash down. Oh, there's one. Let's see what's going on. Hi, what do you what uh, what did Meteor Santa Claus bring for us today? Anything exciting? Sulfur, get out of here. That's better than getting coal. Do 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 do. The streamer we raided last night, um, good dude, but he was like, he was having the same struggles as I was having. He's like, ah, he's like, why is there not a crouch? Why can't I crouch down underneath this thing and pick it up? He's like, how do you make a game without crouch? And honestly, I don't know how, because I mean, this is just a, this is off the shelf gaming um, engine. But I just, I feel like the, they made, they didn't put Crouch in for a reason. It was a choice they made. And it hasn't become evident to me. Maybe the Crouch, you were getting stuck under things or something. We already have a lot of this, but I would have much rather like a pink meteor would have hit us. Cobalt. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not going to get... I'm not going to get hung up on this today. Like, whatever we find on the ground is what we're taking with us. So it looks like another one right here. I feel like I wasted a lot of time waiting and then getting impa me impatient. I know. Is this unity? That's a very good question. I feel like I knew the answer to that question at one point, and I don't... I was thinking yesterday, I don't remember what it is. It doesn't look like Unreal.
What is the, I, I need to, it is Unity? Cool. What is the engine that um, the new Grounded game is running on? Because it looks just like, I mean, it, it it's like, ear, it looks eerily like um, Ark. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Doesn't look like Unreal, so it must be Unity. Yep. Do, do, do. Big tree spreader. So where was the... Okay. <clears throat> Unreal 4, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. It looks... It looks like it. What, um... Yeah, I was talking about the game when I first started streaming tonight, and... It's funny how games now are like movies were, right? Like they're making an asteroid movie. So three studios are making asteroid movies and then they all come out within like a month of each other. And now the gaming community is sort of like that too, right? We're making two Honey, I Shrunk the Kid out in the garden type games and they both come out within six months of each other. I'm not saying it's good or bad. I, I like Grounded. I think it's a great game. And uh, I'm excited to play uh, this new game as well that I can never remember the never remember the name of. I'm just writing down the GTI when we came into the game today. I want to see how much it increased. This was around, it was around 32 when we started. <laughs> this game in Unreal would be something else. Yeah. I mentioned the developers make a choice for, is it art style or I'm sure there's money that has to go, that goes along with it too. I'm sure each of the engines have their own cost and that cost weighs into how you'll develop. Maybe also the, co the code that you know how to do. Oh shit. All right. Well, uh, these things take considerably more power, I guess. Oh, wow. You only make, you only pay for, well, they've, they've more, that, they made more than that, I think. They've done well. What'd they save? 500, was it 500,000 copies? It half a million copies? All right, well, we left ourselves some room up there for another another uh, reactor. Um, hi, yeah, okay, so three uranium rods. And then some water. I think that's it, right? Oh, I thought I had one of those on me. I thought I had one of them on me. Nope, 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 nope. Mm, they made 8.3 million. But I got the sense that they didn't... Well, I mean, that means the development part of it, they didn't have to pay, which is huge, right? Especially if you don't have any money. And then I, I, I got the sense, even from their early writings, that they didn't expect... They didn't expect this game to become what it has become. They didn't expect it to be so popular, which like if that's probably realistic, right? Like being able to, to think you're going to like, to think you're going to produce a hit, right? That's like, you want to be successful and you'll work really hard to do it, but like, you're not out the gate going to be like, yeah, it's going to be the, it's going to be a huge hit. Is this <laughs> Is this a piece of sulfur that's just landed here? I love it. Wait, what? Oh, this is leftover from the the rocket's red glare. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. We like sulfur around these parts. I just like the smell. <laughs> mm. Shit. Wait, how am I, I feel like that's the most leftovers there's been. In a long time. Now I'm like gonna go backtrack and look at all everything that fell down over here. Okay, all right. Was I talking too much shit before? I think Unity is also much easier to get into, but it has its limitations, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, this game's not final, but it definitely has some like some jitteriness that. I don't know that you would see. I mean, the Unreal 5 engine looks insane. 
and I guess we're going to get to we're going to get to see it in Satisfactory soon soon just doing like well, here, this thing's growing trees again. How do we run out of power? How much are these things taking? 153. Okay, yeah. That's... So that's... Oh, really? Cool, Baldrax. We're gonna run out of power again really quick. These things are taking half and These things are taking half a nuclear reactor per... So they're one they're 153 a pop. <laughs> so we can upgrade two more before we run out of power again. Which means we gotta deal with the power issue. We 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 need we need one more of these so that we can build another fusion reactor. We need to go find more of it. Let's 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 pause our upgrading. Let's take a pause on our upgrading. Hey, Buck Ma. Good morning. Hello, sir. Um, yeah, let's pause our upgrading and see if we can go find some pink crystal to build another fusion reactor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, should we, sh should, can we destroy some of these common ones? And I think you know what I'm talking. Oh, should we see if we can put it through this thing? What happens if you put a common into... I bet it just comes out common the other side. <laughs> Warning. Hydration level low, you... Gulp. Uh, let's drop all of these, I guess. You know what? Let's not drop all of these. Let's do... Let's do something humane. And send them back... And recycle them back into the air. Mmm. Smell of burnt larva. Um, let's put these powder away. Which is not the powder one. Whoops. That's the powder one. Drop this water. I've got an extra bottle of air on me. I'm going to have a little bit of coffee while we take in the bees. I think we'll take the teleporter to where the... I'm trying to remember where I saw the... Where I picked up pink quartz crystal. And it's in the cave I always get lost in. Which is probably why I haven't gone back there. Probably should have eaten something before I came all the way out here, huh? The good news about the teleporter is we can go right back. Alright, let's... Let's see what's going on in here. Doo -doo. Uh, there's the cake. Let's take something. The, I just, the air bottle is ridiculous now. Can I just let it drop on the ground? Because that seems like the right thing to do. Let's take a bottle of water. Red sky at night. <laughs> uh, blue station. So I think I hit the M button to see the map. I think, remember it's like down the one cave where I like make two lefts and then a right and then I get lost. I know what Baldrax is saying. That's every cave you go into, Drax. Maybe it's not this cave. Maybe it's around the corner. It's around the corner. Boom, boom, boom. I'm having flashbacks with this red nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually think that was the, I don't actually think that was the correct way to go. It's not even the right case. <laughs> I get, I got lost even trying to find the cave to get lost in. <laughs> oh shit. Hello, blue cave. Now, like, there's some passageway through here. No, this is not it either. This isn't it either. Mm -hmm. There's some ice. 
And then, hi. Okay, I'll take that. I know the last couple days I've said, like, let's focus on getting rid of these, these crates that are left over so that I stop at them. So I stop stopping at them every single time. Oh, is this water? Your gauge is full. What, what do we think gets mined out of here? What is this? Ice. Oh, yeah. I think this is, I think you can mine ice out of here. But I don't exactly know what you would do with the ice that you mined out of here. Flash forward three hours. You need like a metric shit ton of ice. This is on the map. I think it, I think it, I think this is the one that looks like a, um, an aluminium cave, but it is indeed an ice cave. What's up here? Hello? Oh, hi. Yeah, okay, I'm like, you know, I'm exploring or whatever. I bet you one of these markers is where it's at. <laughs> leave it to me to leave a marker to where we're going. Not having to worry about oxygen is quite nice. All right, well, we need aluminum always, so this is... It's not for nothing. Seems like a bunch of weird... I'll know when we find the cave, because my left eye will start twitching, right? Like, oh, <laughs> this fucking cave. Are we seeing this weird? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. And the next time I find water, we'll try. Is this like a... Some, something weird going on back there. I don't know if it's the game trying to tell me something or just a, gra a graphical glitch. Hi! Yeah, all right. I think I know where I am now. Did I store stuff in here? Psh. I am playing a game called Vintage Story <clears throat> on the side. Uh, and it's like hardcore Minecraft. I think I've talked about it. And um, it's it's really a challenge. It is not easy at all. Like it's it's... It's not painful yet, but it's definitely like, it's, it's just enough of a challenge to like keep you engaged. And uh, all that stuff laying on the ground reminded me of this. I was, I, I had a bunch of stuff in my bags and I didn't, have, I didn't have enough storage chests. And it's like not necessarily easy to make more storage. Nothing's easy to make. It's nothing like you can just like throw it together. Everything is like, it takes time. And so I, uh, I threw a bunch of stuff on the ground because I didn't want to die with it out there because I was going to go try to fight off these wolves that were out there, like pissing me off. So I threw it all on the ground. I'm like, okay, it'll be fine. Just like in this game, you throw stuff on the ground. Like I threw that on the ground, that stuff I just picked up, like how long ago? Like forever ago, right? So I go out, I ditch the wolves. I like do a bunch of, uh, I'm gone, you know, half the day in game. I come back, all the stuff on the ground is despawned. Lost like half my shit. Fantastic. Uh, I, I, the moral of the story is this. Uh, make sure you understand the how the game is played before you, you know, do stupid shit like throw the most important stuff of the game on the ground. All right, I feel like it's this cave that I came out of. What, or is there, a, is there, a, is there a second? Is there a second cave? There's a second cave. It's right over here. Of course, it's right over there. Now, I filled my bags full of stuff. My bags are packed. I'm ready to go. <laughs> There's a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of good stuff. There's still a lot of good stuff down there and in, over there, right, that I just haven't been able to pack out yet. Okay, I'm here. Give me your quartz, and let me get lost for an hour. I, 
I mean, I, I'm not alone. This cave just, it's built this way just to piss you off, right? It's not responding. Boom, 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 boom. It's one of my favorite emojis. All right, so we just, we just were here looking. No, wait, uh-huh. This is where it splits again. I don't see any of it respawning. That is a real, that's a real bummer, man. Like, real bummer. Shit. Dear game, I need your sweet, sweet quartz crystal. Mind helping a brother out? Part of my problem, too, is I, like, swing around so fast that I end up going back the ex exact same way. So here's some ice, and then we're back into the blue cave again. Yeah, shit. All right, well, that was a bust. More blue. I feel like that's the one thing, and uh, that's the one thing we don't have enough of. Like we're just kind of screwed. And that's what uh, Lobster was saying. He was like, good luck getting more of that. All right, where else? I feel like we should have really marked that on the map. Where else did we find that stuff? Oh, I need one of those to build tree bark. Oh, and here's this wreck over here. Shucks. I was really hoping there might be a couple more in there, but no go. I quit Minecraft after two weeks when I was mining near lava. Fell in, sunk under with all of my good equipment and resources. <laughs> the game was too deep of a dive for me. I, um, I've definitely lost my stuff a million times. In the current, in the Minecraft server that's running, um, on Molly's Patreon Minecraft server, it is, I, I, in all of the servers that I've built over the last couple of years for Minecraft, I installed this little add-on that creates a gravestone, um, for you. And then the new add-on ver in the new add-on version of this, it creates a gravestone that can't be destroyed. So the only time you're going to lose your shit is if you fall through lava that's like completely unreachable. But most of the time, like, I died not too long ago when I was playing and it popped the thing on the out. <laughs> this is like the stupidest fucking death ever. I was building a bridge above a lava waterfall. And I like, I like misstep just a little bit. Hey, new butterfly farm, outdoor butterfly farm. Oh, we're building those. Anyway, I stepped just a little bit too much and I dropped into the lava uh, waterfall and melted but the, the gravestone was sitting on the outside. It was hilarious. It's a typical me moment. Hi, I'm in desperate need of things that you don't have. Hmm. 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 Like I know how I know where to get everything else, but I don't know where to get more of this. And when we were looking through what the unlock levels, it was an unlock level, but it's really far ahead, so we can build the stuff, which I guess makes sense, but still. Should have paid more attention when you were doing this. Do do do. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Look at this boost. Oh man. <laughs> I was way up there. I was way up there. Man, not having to worry about oxygen really just, just frees you. It frees you. All right. Here's some water. Oh yeah. Yeah, Baldrax. When you're underwater, the oxygen meter goes down. So, you still got the chance to kill yourself by suffocation. <laughs> All right. 
Hi, what are we dropping on the ground? I don't get the sense that it's going to be what I want. But I thank you for trying to kill me. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marcus, that was the last unlock yesterday. We, You've got breathable air. If you look under my O2 monitor on the bottom left part of the screen, it shows unlimited now. So you don't need, you don't have to worry about air. It's great. I didn't think that was in the game, but I was wrong. Oh, we made a teleporter out here. It's going to take me a while to get used to the fact that we can teleport around the map. Like, I almost think we should start changing where there are teleporter locations to a different color. Like, maybe a nice purple. Nice purple. Shade of purple. To indicate there's a teleporter. Hello. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hey, Nicky and Billy, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome. I was watching you ladies last night play some some more Valheim. I really wish I could I wish I could get into that game. Uh I wish I, I wish that game was the way it was for me in the very beginning. Hey, I'm doing real well. Thank you. How about you? For that first that first couple of play sessions with Valheim, I was so into it. As as into it as everybody else is. And I don't know what Molly would say what changed is that she started liking it and then I was like out and I don't know, I just I think it was after we got the second boss or the third boss, I realized that the game was just yeah, this game is, this game's amazing. It, um, it's, it's another one of these games that I'm wondering if it might be toxic areas where you might still have to worry about air. Oh, uh, maybe it might be. This game is a perfect example of like an, an early access game done right. Um, it's a solid game at early access launch, even though it's limited in what it has to offer. Even even if you just even if it it's another one of those games where I where I'm like saying listen even if this was the game even if this is all it was this was a year ago a year ago this month right I would I, would I pay fifteen twenty dollars whatever it was uh, that would have been enough I, I had so much fun and it was it was so great and now here we are a year later with four patch updates so much content uh, I mean I've been playing for two weeks on and off and uh, and we still aren't even to the end yet. And there's the game's not even done yet. It, it's just it's brilliant, it's just brilliant. It is brilliant. All right, so we picked up a bunch of crap while we were out there. <clears throat> none, by the way, none of it was what we wanted. But we're not gonna t we're not gonna take the negative. We're gonna take the positive. And the positive is like this aluminum is awesome, and the that pretty much brings back all of our reds. So. Picked up another explosive, a little bit of the Petri dish stuff. That's always good. So all high level shit. It's just not the one thing we we need to build power. I mean, we, I, we could just keep building reactors and probably be fine. I need to move these computer chips somewhere. Let's do that. Boo, 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 boo. Nikki, Billy, wh wh whoever, wh which whichever one of you is 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 the one uh, typing on the old keyboard. How far have you played all the way through the new content? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, uh, can I have some, just a tad bit of magnesium? Thanks. Let's. I guess we need two signs here. Nikki. All right, Nikki. Mm. Uh, I think there's meth in there, yeah. And then this one is 
CPU. Uh, a little bit of white and another flower thing. These This flower thing was... We needed one of those to make one of the initial, like, super seeds for the for the trees, and we didn't do it, so that's probably pretty good. Uh, a little bit of food. Let's pull these. Let's pull these guys out. Boom, boom, and just put them in here because I feel like we're gonna. Whoops! Why do I just keep? I'm playing too many games. I'm playing too many different games with too many different uh, key sets. The problem is power. That's that's where we're stuck. We're we're switching out all the tree, the T two tree spreaders to T threes, but we, that we're going to run out of power again. And I just wanted to build one more uh, fusion reactor, but I don't have any more pink. Yeah, I played it since it came out. Uh, going to play some more later. It's my go to game. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I, I didn't play it. I, I literally played it. Um, I played the heck out of it right at the very beginning. And uh, I played it and hit the wall. And then I saw updates were happening and I was keeping up and I was reading the updates and I was reading the, you know, the developer blogs or logs, dev log, blog, posts. Anyway, and um, there was a couple of times where I was like, oh, I'll jump back in. And I just didn't. And then this last one where they're like, there's drones. I was like, wait, 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 what? And so, and then it also coincided with me starting to stream. So it helped because it's a game that I know okay and that is fun to play. And I think it's actually a pretty good streaming game. So, um, and it's not too brutal on my computer. It can handle it. So it all worked out. Let's, uh... I'm just trying to think, like, where else did we... Oh, I'm sorry. Did did someone drop a bottle of oxygen right here? No? Oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm just trying to think, like, where... Nice, there's more to come this year. Yeah, I read the, I read the, the birthday uh, thing. Um, and, yeah, it seems like one more update and then maybe full release. That's huge. It's huge. Huge. All right. Uh, I just feel like there's got to be more of this. I guess we'll, I mean, we can just, we can look at the big map here. Not here. We were just here. And then we, and then we went all the way through here and up in here. No, we were here. This is the ice cave. Uh, We've been in all this entire area and I didn't see any. The only the only quartz was like in this area, but there was none. I feel like there was some other place where I pulled quartz out, but I for the life of me cannot remember. There was quartz laying on the ground somewhere back here. So maybe... Maybe we take... Maybe we take enough to build another teleporter. And we trudge, because there's nothing out here, teleporter land-wise. We have three teleporters, one here, one here, and one here. No, both of them are here, and we have three teleporters, and they're all on this side. They're, they're all on this side of the map. So let's go out. Let's, I, let's just take a long run. Let's grab a little bit of water and a little bit of, well, I guess we just need food because there's water throughout. Let's take a, we're here, right in the middle of the map. Let's just go out around, and we'll kind of trek through here. Uh, just kind of make a loop. And if we find some, we'll put a teleporter down right on top of it. And then and then we'll come back and finish what we're doing. So this is sort of like a, just to be clear, we're still on task for, on my list, right? This is still serving the purpose of upgrading. We're just, we've run into some power problems. Um, and to build a teleporter, we need elbow grease. We need three pulsars. We've got that. And then a rod, a blue, and a white. So we got a blue. And I think there's a rod actually sitting in here. And there is. And then the white is right here. All right, we've got some food and water on us. Let's just eat a little bit and drink a little bit before we hit the road. Yep. 
All right. So we'll just, we'll kind of make a, and I've got a picture of the map uh, in my head. I mean, as we know, my mapping is amazing. So look at these trees. Hi. How are we doing? A hundred percent. Nice. And that's one of the new ones. That's the last one we put down when we threw the power out. It's hilarious. There's, it's, they're spreading them so far. Look, way over here. Oh, our GTI number is at 40, by the way. Top right corner. Oof. Oof. All right. Hello, hellscape known as the aluminium field. All right, so the bumper sticker on my butt says, I break for quartz. I'm not stopping for anything else. Oh, you know what? Oh my God. We haven't been back here this play. I have not gone back here at all. <laughs> and you know why I haven't gone back here? Because I've been back here before during my first playthrough. Th this entire part of the map we've not been to. Okay, rename the title. Uh, exploration. Drax. Exploration. I'm having some coffee in <laughs> two seconds. I heated up coffee. There's some le leftover coffee from the coffee I brewed this morning. It's not bad. Not bad. Gauge already full. Okay, so I don't, I remember coming over here in the first playthrough. I mean, I guess the good news about exploring it this time is that there's no worry about oxygen. Cannot believe I didn't come back here. Is there going to be something back here that like change, fundamentally changes by, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are climbable things, right? I'm on top of the world! What do we got here? A plant. 450. I was wondering. I'd never seen any of these before. And in the tree DNA thing, it's like, if you have one of these Orma ones, you can definitely like, and I'm like, I've never seen that, but i never seen that in my part. Okay, so. Oh boy. Did everyone else just like have their stomach drop out when they fell off that thing? Or was it just me? Cool. Well, I was like, oh yeah, we've, we've, uh, we've seen everything on the map. Uh, I've done all the exploring. So it looks like there's just some white stone that's kind of grown in. This is, this is a huge, this is on the map too, by the way. But I'm like, I've been over there, been over there, totally been over there, been over there. All right. Can we go back down the beanstalk instead of, yeah, that was fun. A lot of normal stuff on the ground. I'm not a morning person, so when I ran my <clears throat> b and B, I I would make the coffee before I went to bed, boil it in a microwave, and put it in the air pot. People raved about that coffee. What is in it? Maxwell House Master Blend. So in other words, to make Maxwell House better, you brew it the night before and then reheat it in a... in a... And you boil it in a boil pot? I don't, I don't remember the last time I had like American ground. I remember the last time I saw someone drinking American ground coffee like that. And I'm, I'm not a coffee snob. I mean, I like good coffee. I like coffee, period. I'll drink coffee. I'll drink any kind of coffee. Uh, and um, my brother was drinking Maxwell House the last time I saw him. And when I moved to Denmark, uh, the Danes drink a lot of instant, Europeans drink a lot of instant coffee and the Danes especially drink instant coffee. It's like, cause Danes drink the most coffee of like anyone in Europe. And so they're, they're always drinking coffee. Um, so about any Danish household or any Danish business you go into, there will be instant coffee. They'll have, they'll have regular coffee. They'll have like multiple kinds of coffee. I didn't really affect the taste. It was a combination of the coffee and the water. It just tasted really good. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, 
So yeah, they'll have different kinds of coffee. They'll have brewed coffee. They'll have they'll have coffee out of a machine, espresso out of a machine, and then they'll have instant coffee. And so I started drinking lots of instant coffee. And when Molly got here, she was like, the fuck are you doing? What is this? And I got her drinking it too. And then the water has a lot to do with the taste of the coffee, I think. So you have to find the right coffee for the water you have. Well, the water here in Denmark is blah. Um... Uh, I don't know. I'm not, gonna, I'm not taking that stuff. And then, and then, and then, some people that we know bought Molly this amazing coffee maker, and so we've been drinking that coffee, which is just pretty damn good. Is this like an underwater layer here? Is that what's going to happen to us? Wait, Baldrax, <clears throat> were you? Did you know that they were that this was going to happen? I'm like, yeah, we've won the game because like we'll never have to worry about oxygen again. Then we're underwater. The game has become Subnautica. Is this just a dead end? That seems kind of weird. All right, yeah, you're right. It does. It does. Like take away one thing and then add another. It's just some sulfur down here. I'll take it. Um, um, this means I've been here before. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, you know what? No, I have no recollection of this. I have no recollection of that. Maybe I didn't go out the other side. Seems really weird. Really weird. Oh, yeah, we've been down here. Always follow your nose. It knows. Your nose knows. Yeah, we've been here. But not to the other, not to the other section. We've been to this part, but we haven't been to where the big, where the big arch is. So let's... Let's take a little ride back that way. Should have drank more water when we saw it there. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, all right. Sweet. There's one. That's a win. Mm hmm. Okay, so somehow I missed that crate the last time. Here's a little, looks like a little sneaky cave back here. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Another, another red cave, another place to um, mine iridium. I mean, I don't, unless it like is putting out a higher yield of iridium out of the ground. I'm not sure we'll... Oh, I guess unless you move, unless you put a base over here, right? I keep typing simple, distracting questions about this game, then deleting them. I just need to play the game. Too many questions. I mean, you, I'm happy to answer whatever questions, but you do need to play. I think you'd enjoy this game, Baldrax. I think you would, like, it's so much fun and there's so much to do. Uh, there's no space zombies, but it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. I mean, I guess if you were like going to build a second base or you built your base in a different, like I built my base in the same place both times. And I look at these other people who are like, we went and built a different base. I was saying to myself in my next playthrough, when the game is released, um, or whenever I play it from the start again, I'm going to build in a different place this time. I'm going to, you know, going to mix it up. This is really cool. Uh, I don't remember there being that much plant life on it the last time. And this is just Death Valley out here, right? Yeah. Whoa. All right. Our bags are probably almost full because we've been everywhere. Hello? 
I don't remember. I don't remember September. Like, is it, is there a way into this? Cause I don't, I do not recollect. I do not recollect. It looks like there's some potential, but then again, it could just be like a really cool rack. It's flooded the manifold. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Guess we'll just kind of peer around underwater here and see. It, it seems like there should be something here because it's a pretty big, pretty big, exciting piece of wreckage. I can't, I can't drive through there. This also seems like a place where you would get stuck. That rarely happens in this game, which is very nice too, by the way. Yeah, I don't. I don't think, I do not believe there is anything here. You can't drink water when you're submerged in the water, by the way. Pretty funny. So in other words, like my, like, we didn't come out here. Oh, we didn't go out here and look like there's nothing out here. So I guess I'm happy that I didn't come out here and look originally. Ah, man, I swear there was... Oh, my memory. It's a pretty open area, but you can tell that, like, the stuff on the ground stops spawning, so that's when you know you're, like, in no man's land here. It, like, looks like there should be more stuff. It's not like we're going to run out of air. <clears throat> Lots of room to expand. Mm. I think I've been holding down the shift key. I hold down the shift key all the time to go faster in games. The crazy thing is I turned that off in Apex because my I didn't want my pinky finger to go numb, but I still hold down the shift key because it's just habit. All right. Uh, a lot of land out here and not a lot of... Um, no, did I speak too soon? This looks like another underground cavern. Did I see some pink happening down there? Oh boy. There's some, oh, look at this. Look at this. Can I build a teleporter underwater? <laughs> uh, oh, this is blue. Oh no, it's. Oh, that I saw that on um, I saw that on Reddit. It, it's it's looks like it's Osmanum, but it's actually pulsar crystals. Sulfur, a box full of goodies. Um, I don't know. But the question is like, one, can you mine it down here, and two, is it gonna respawn? It's not a lot of it. And it is the wrong. It's the yeah. The, it's the wrong graphic. I mean, what? How many did we pull out of there? Three. Mm, we pulled five. So we pulled one reactor out of that. Should we, should we put, should we put the teleporter out here in hopes that what's underwater there will spawn back in? Uh, all right. So this is just, this is underwater just to the right of the arch thingy badingy. Let's look around a little bit more. I, I, we know where that is and that's relatively close to the house. Boop. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this. Uh, bags full. 
cool shit. You know what we can do? You know what we can do? Oh man, this is what we should have been doing the whole time. We could build this teleporter right here. Go home, unload all of our bags. <laughs> the, the teleporter is the new uh, life raft uh, oxygen thing. You just carry like you tell her, you, a pocket teleporter. <laughs> I love it. Pocket teleportion, teleport, teleportate, teleportation. What are you playing these days, Balls Rack? Are you just playing PC or are you, are you playing another game like on the down low? Are you still playing the pirate game? This is the way. Snow, oh, Snow Runner. Those games I always wanted to get into. Like, I never thought I would, I, I've never played them, so maybe I wouldn't enjoy them. I don't know, but it seems like. Mud Runner, and they just look like they look fun. We haven't played Sea of Thieves in at least a year. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen you. I mean, I haven't. You haven't streamed it a long time, but I didn't know if you were just like, I'm not. A, I'm still playing on the on the down low, just not streaming. It's it's still receiving some updates. It's like I I think I still follow it in the um, on the Reddit, but I don't. I'm not paying a lot of attention to it because I don't know. I played that game. I played Sea of Thieves in the beta <clears throat> on Xbox, however many years ago that was. And I had so much fun. And I was like, man, this game's going to go places. And then it released and I played it on the PC and I was like, oh boy. <laughs> SnowRunner can be brutal. Playing it on hard mode. Not sure it was a wise choice. Uh, yeah, I've watched, yeah, I've watched a number of streamers I know play that game. And... It is, it looks like fun, but yeah, it's not, it's not very forgiving. I feel like we need to, um, we'll need to DNA sequence some of these. We should probably take like what these two right here are the 450 ones. They're like the badasses. Let's put them into, um. What am I looking for here? A lot of words. Let's put them into the DNA sequencer and make better tree seeds out of them, right? So a mutagen and a tree bar, because they're 250. Let's just get those two running. They'll probably throw the power, actually. Um, nope. Uh, we've got one there. I think we need, I think we need another. Hi, right, one of these. Have you played both Snow Runner and Mud Runner? I feel like that. I feel like those two games, like they, they could build them. They could build a bunch of different variations on those. Money is an issue in a hard mode, but I have two friends to play, so I jump into the normal games to make some money. Cool. We played the first Mud Runner. Is it? Uh, can you play? Is it server based? Can you play with a server? Cool. Wait, what did I do? Oh. <laughs> okay. Th these are the, this DNA thing, um, you get a bunch of different uh, trees that you can sequence through DNA. And so you just take the parts and then you can make them. And then they actually put a seed into uh, the tree spitters we've been building. And then just like everything else that requires a seed, uh, a plant seed, it can have a modifier on it. A modifier. And so this modifier is, is much higher than the ones I've got out there. So we'll pull, we'll, we'll sequence both of these. This is going to take some time. We're just going to let it do its thing. We'll come back later. We'll, we'll pull those out and we'll put them into some of the other tree. Either that or we'll build new splitter or new tree. Uh, wow, look at all these huge trees. Uh, we'll build a new, a new section that will, uh, we'll build two new ones because we'll need it. All right, so that one, so suddenly me methane and nitrogen are coming out of those, those guys we built. Doom. That's an actually, tr that's an actual tree seed. 
Uh, Mud Runner was pretty easy in comparison. Much simpler game. Snow Runner, you can start a co-op uh, with the save and invite friends. No servers. Yeah. All right. We were when we were launching one of the servers for Molly last week. You know, the the G Portal site has all the servers they have, and I was surprised that like American Truck Simulator, like you know those truck simulator games. I've played those. I I got them for free, like on a humble bumble. I don't think I bought them, but I played them. They're fun. That's a fun like trucking game, but you can get a server for that. So like, I guess all of your friends can drive around with, you can drive around the United States or Europe or wherever. Like how fun is that? I mean, if you're, if that's like your thing, right? Okay. So focus, we built this teleporter to go right back to where we were. 704, Oh my God, that's genius. I'm going to leave that there and we're going to go down here into the water because there's a little underground thing that somehow we miss. I'm just searching to make sure there's no other cool shit under the water here. All right. Oh yeah, there's no there's no air down here either. Hi. Oh, because we're still underwater? Is that a fusion reactor that I can't take apart? Come on, man. Give him a break. Oh, these rods are, they're worth a fortune. A couple of pinks. I mean, I guess we'll just take it all, right? And then can we take that too? All right, ready to read a depressing message? It's been six months since the crash and I'm barely surviving. My main goal is to build a rocket and leave this place forever. This planet is cursed. I can feel it. I'll have to go back to the crash site. I think there was a secret room in the control bay. A deconstructible wall somewhere near the main screens. But it's been a while. I can hardly remember. Wait a minute, dude. What crash site? There's like eight of them on the planet. All right. Uh, I'm taking a picture with my phone. So that later... When I remember to do this, we can be like, oh yeah, it was by the wall. I got Mudrunner free on Epic, then I got addicted and bought all the DLCs for it. Ah, so hey, that that worked for, that was like their gamble, right? Give it away and we'll sell all the DLCs. Oh shit. We're almost out of air. It's a little, we're, we're like floating for air. I want to go back down there and look. Boom, 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 boom. It's, it's Subnautica at this point, right? So I can't decon... Like, this thing's worth a fortune. Come on, man. I need one of these. Nothing else to deconstruct down here. But I mean, like, that's quite a haul. Boom, boom, boom. Um, all right. Cool. Uh, I guess we'll just... Where is it? Where is it? No, but seriously, where did it go? Oh, they wasn't drawing in. I was like, did someone take my teleporter? Um, okay, so we got blue ozymandium rods. Oh, we've got a, we've already got some of those. And now we've got, we've got enough one, two, three, four. So we've got enough to make one more reactor. So that's great. We're gonna finish. We're gonna finish our run out there. We're gonna go right back out there in a second. I'm just dropping off. Just unloading my bags here. And then we'll go back out. Um tell me you got room. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, I've got one, one of these guys. And then one of these guys. Did that drop in there? Yep. Sometimes I'm like, I think I'm clicking too fast. We're in, we're standing in water. We could use another bite though. Okay. And then let's finish. Uh, uh, let's, let's, you know, since we're out here, I guess we could go right back into that puddle we came out of. I don't think it's going to respawn that fast. The, the pink that's down there, right? Because if it did, you would just constantly be coming back and forth. Can't drink water when you're underneath water. So this is the cave we were just in. I'm just going back in to see if 
it respawned some of the uh okay maybe it did that's one or maybe i just missed that one do 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 I didn't pick up everything that was back here. I didn't pick up those. I, we're, we have like a pretty decent supply of blue right now. Oh. Did I not come this way? Oh boy. I mean, I guess we'll just... So because I didn't do a full sweep of the cave, I can't fully a answer whether or not it actually respawned. Oh, come on. Oh my god. Sorry, everybody. I get the buttons really... 24 hours of play and I still can't figure out which... I just I want the deconstruct button to be like a hard button that I can press, but it just cycles through the button that's there. So I end up... Well, nine times out of ten, I turn the light on. But I'm sure you're not even noticing that. Right? 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 Um, so we pulled two of them out of there, but who's to say that those weren't in there all along? And then we're going to go right back and dump, dump our bags one more time. This is great. This is, I'm glad we didn't come back here. This is just, this is a luxury. Gonna have some more coffee. This is so nice. Okay. Hello, bees. So, let's just sort this. Two more jet engines. That's always nice. I have a whole thing of them down here. I think I, I have a feeling that the. I have a sneaking suspicion that the drones are going to require those. So, it'll be nice to have them and have so many. Yeah, an auto sorter would be just ideal, right? Here, dump it all in here and just put it away for me, please. Mm -mm. And we've got more than, we've almost got, we have two full bins of plant seeds now. Let's build another reactor. One, two, three, four, five. While we're here, before we use it for something else. Um, and then, oh, it looks like we need two super alloy. Let's just fly over here. <clears throat> that way when we come back, we can just go right back to, and I've just been doing this nice little, I've been putting them in here. I cleaned this all up yesterday. I'm really happy with it. Really happy with the way it looks. Hooray. All right. So each one of the tree spreaders takes 315. Whoops. 315 to power. And now we have a quite an abundance at 1526. So I think we can upgrade the, because they're, because they're already taking the tier twos are taking 426 already. So I think we can, there's six more out there. I forgot this thing keeps track of the count. So we built five. I'm looking right here, uh, top, of the, top of the right column. We built five uh, tier threes, and we've got six more tier twos to upgrade. And our we're 12% into fish, and our starting number was 32, and we're up to 45 now on the terraforming number. So it's pretty good. I think we're doing. I think we're doing. I think we're doing great, and we're doing some exploring that I didn't expect us to do today, which is actually quite nice. I'm not gonna lie, I'm enjoying it. I thought we. I was kind of sad yesterday when I thought well, I was like, we. I think we've explored everything. Like, should we take one of these air bottles just because we seem to keep going under? Because uh, Baldrax jinxed us. Do, 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 do. They've been down over there. I'm watching Baldrax. It would have been the perfect. That would have been the perfect one for like, thanks, Baldrax. <laughs> uh, all right. So we looked down there in that 
that puddle, that deep puddle. And I just, I want to continue the swing I was on. I don't, this is all unexplored. We've never, we didn't come back here for some reason. Never mind. We've totally been back here. Yeah, I got a pocket portal, so that's, that's awesome sauce. Well, oh, yeah, this is this is the first this is the first uh, uh, uranium cave you find, and I was so excited. But you can't you can't mine uranium out of there. I mean, this is just point. Like we should take this. Beacon. <laughs> We're never coming back there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can fly. Oh, wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. This is going back farther than I thought. See, I was back here. I was back here at the very beginning. Because this is really close to the base. This is sort of like where you first... Um, did I just screw up the... Remember, if you don't like the way the... If you, don't, if you don't like the way the screen looks, just save and restart. And then... Wait. And then it gets stuck like this permanently. Maybe that's just what this area looks like. It's not great. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a reason I've left that. There's like I kind of remember this area, to totally. I mean, that was many, many, many hours ago, right? In terms of gameplay. And in terms of days, it was days ago when we were back here at the very beginning. Woo. Yeah, we built, remember I built this whole base back here. Uh, Cause this is where all, this is where like the triple underground action is. Well, let's, I guess let's do this. Let's, we've got the teleporter on us. Let's clean out this. We never, I don't think we, if I had to bet, I'd bet there's a ton of stuff that I left over here that we can just, we can just, now we can clean it out because we can go right back to the tele, to the teleporter, to the teleporter. This looks like there would be something. Uh, no. It's cool. Do, do, do. Yeah, I built like a water collector. I think there's food over here. Hi. Of course I'm thirsty. Yeah, look at and it's like a it's a two it's a two prong one. It's got so much going on. Yeah, look at all this stuff. All right. Th yeah, okay, let's do this. And then we'll go down and clean all this out. And then we'll make the and then we'll just keep going in this outer rim until we reach the other side and then whatever whatever quartz we find, we find. And if we find some place where we think it is, then the, well, that's where we'll leave the teleporter. Otherwise it'll come home with us. Mm -mm -mm. Did I build? Oh no, this is, this is part of the story. Do, do, do. I can't deconstruct that. And then someone's, someone's escape pod. I don't, can you deconstruct that? Oh yeah. I don't actually need any more iron. Maybe I should build another. I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do with it. Hi. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, it's just a box full of super. Super alloy. Hilarious. Hilarious. All right, let's... And then we'll teleport home. I'm going to... Hmm. I'm going to go over here real quick. And whatever iron we bring back, we're going to turn into... 
foundations to finish this off so instead of instead of throwing it away, right? We have two full bins of iron right now. And we're going to and we're going to need it cuz we're going to at some point we're going to redo the base and we're going to need a lot of iron for that. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. And we probably have full things of titanium too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I saw nothing. Da, 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 da. Um, food seeds, lots of room. Plant seeds, not so much. We should take. We should. I bet we can. <clears throat> we should make another. We should make another case for bark. Bark. Right. Um. Show me storage. Cool. And then let's pull the bark out. And that'll give us a little bit of space because it's different. Oh, you know what? We should pull this tree out too. And we'll put it down here for now. Um, all right, we pulled a white and a ton more super. That's excellent. We still haven't really recovered our aluminium supplies. And then we just got some basic here. Our old friend cobblestone, which we are not cobblestone, cobalt, which we have too much of also. See ya. How are we doing? All right. And then back to 319. They're doing something. All right. We're just, we're just cleaning up and taking back some of the stuff that's been out here uh, for a long time. I mean, and honestly, we should just be taking back the stuff that, like, like this can stay. Who cares? We don't need it. Stuff that has big importance. Look, there's an unlock screen here. Let's go. Where's the underground? Let's let's see if we left anything down here. I'm sure we didn't take all of it out. And then every building we're in from this point forward, remember that guy said, behind a computer screen is a hidden wall. So anytime you... Oh, look at this. More computer chips. I'm glad we came down here. Look at that. Um, I guess if we see, if you see a computer, if you see a wall, the computer chip on it. Oh my God, we didn't go this way. I'm not a very good explorer. It's because I get all bent out of shape when there's like, when I'm like, I think I'm going to run out of air. I'm like, oh my God, we're going to die. We're going to die. We're going to die. I don't want to run back. I don't want to run back. And you know where that comes from? That comes from hundreds of hours of gaming, thousands of hours of gaming, but mostly it comes from WoW, I think. The run back on WoW used to just irritate me to no end. So I didn't want to ghost run. Like I would rather just like die and respawn and not have to worry about it, but. Yeah, right? You don't feel that pressure. I mean, all we have to do is worry about water at this point. Um, can we... Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission to advance the terraformation process this world. Generate O2 heat and pressure. To do so, reach 175 TI and create a blue atmosphere. Centennial Corp, we love you. Welcome to your assigned planet. Your mission is to advance... I already read that. All right, what is this thing? <laughs> oh, I remember this from the first playthrough. Yeah. Looney Tunes. Man, he's gone crazy. Can you destroy these? No. Or wait, this these are like 355. Are they all the same year? And yeah, they're all the same year. Hi. Oh, yeah, that's great. Thank you. 355. 
Yeah. Oh ho! There was a hidden wall right there. Where's gonna be the one that tells us? You sent me here to die. You knew it was impossible. You didn't even care. All you care about is profit and colonization. <laughs> Whoever thought it was a good idea, go to hell. The plan was never forgiveness. Be cursed, Sentinel Corp. <laughs> we could totally see it. All ball tracks. All ball tracks. Uh, that's worth something. I'll take this. Uh, I'll take these 300s. And whatever you have in the register. Wait, I want this one too. All right. Um, nothing else I can destroy down here because that's what I'm all about. <laughs> oh, Laravi, you're so funny. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. No. There's a reason I left all this stuff down here. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Interesting. So we just we just didn't turn the one direction, which that doesn't seem like me at all. I just have to survive until then. So sad. <laughs> so sad. All right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You heckle everyone uh, universally. All right. So we did. We put these computer chips somewhere. Oh, here. So now we almost have an entire thing full of computer chips, which is good because I don't think we can make computer chips until forever. And then more yellow came out. Got a, some more of these plant seeds, some good ones. Important food seed, another plant seed, uh, and then just kind of rando town here. A pink, a blue. Mm, one super, which is crazy. Yeah, it's the putting away that's sort of... It's tough. It's just tough. Mm -mm, we're gonna ditch this one cobalt. See ya, friend. And then we'll use the iron ore we picked up to continue our little... Okay, I'm right here, I'm right here. Our, our build that we're working on here to expand when we inevitably run out of power again. Oh, that's right. We got an outdoor butterfly spreader. We can build one of those. And In, insert butterfly larvae in to increase insect levels. Uh, 75. What are the current ones? 20. So I feel like we should remove the butterfly domes. They're just, they're just, they're just doing insects at 20 a second and the new ones are doing 75 a second. So let's, yeah, what, what, I don't, this is a little, this is like insert butterfly are into increase insect levels. This is where I'm like a little lost. Like, I guess it's a, it's a tier, like it's an upgrade. So do you just pull the old ones because it's so much better? Do you let the old ones run? I don't know what the right answer is on those. On I, I, And I, I guess I should clarify, I don't know what the right answer is on that particular one. On some of them, it's very clear, like, yes, you definitely want to pull it. And I guess, like, if you just if you just look at the hard math, if you just look at the numbers, then, yeah, it makes perfect sense. It does, it is way more efficient to run those. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. You know, I'm not, I'm not too bad at that. All right, good. So, cool, 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 cool. Hi. 
Remember when this wasn't right by the door? Me too. Me too. Hi, I'm just going to eat a little bit. And then I'm going to throw this back here. And then we're going to go back. I don't think... I don't think there's anything else out here. At least in this area that we need to pick up. Uh, I don't think we need to leave this here anymore. There's no reason for a beacon in a place I'm not going to come back to. Man. Pocket teleporter is the story I'm telling. Teleporting. Pockets of fun. Alright, let's stay on target. I made... It's funny because then I made another one right here too, which doesn't doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But I guess when you didn't have a lot of oxygen, right? Alright, let's pull this one for sure. There's like nothing in it. Hi. There's something inside? Oh. <laughs> oh man, talk about random shit. Um... Hi, we're just double checking to make sure I didn't miss like a cave that's full of quartz that everyone else is like, didn't you go into the quartz cave, Drax? What the hell were you thinking? Like, it was so easy to find. It was literally a cave that respawned quartz. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. And then this is just... This is just a cave that links back into a blue cave that we actually have a miner in, I think, on the other end. When we already went down into like the pink fortress and pulled, and we flew all the way in the where the big mushrooms are, we flew all around in there and there was no. There was no new quartz at all. And then th these fields are full of, like, the white stuff, as I like to call it. Not that stuff. I'm just looking back here. That looks like it's nothing. Did I miss a small... Remember how hard it was to find the uranium cave? I mean, like, who knows how many other little nooks and crannies I've missed, right? Bum, bum, bum. This is it. Like we're turning around. We're like we're going home after this. If there, if there's nothing, if there's nothing exciting here. Then I, th then I hesitantly say out loud, I think we've seen the whole map. Oh well, well. Here's a here's a pulsar crystal just on the ground right here. I just don't know if we should. And a rare larva. Yeah, I just don't know if we should, if this, this is a pretty far point away from where we live. If we shouldn't just throw a teleporter out here in Moonland as sort of just waypoint station. And then, can you put a beacon on top of these things? You can put a beacon inside these things? Uh, that's kind of weird, dude. I would like to put it on top. How do I... But I can't stand on top while I'm doing it. Mm, maybe it's not going to let me. Oh, I can put it awkwardly on the back. Cool. Cool. And we're doing these in a... And a brilliant purple. And then I guess we'll name this Moon Station. If I can type. I mean, there's aluminium here. If, if it really does respawn quartz on the ground, it may be worth coming back to. Whoops. Jesus. Sorry, everybody. 
Sorry for the vomit cam. Let's pull this box out of here so we don't check it again. <laughs> and that yellow one is is the box that's down. How's my alright, let's let's do this. We'll come back for just one more quick run. We'll dump all the stuff that's in my bags now and then come back back out here and clean out that last marker and whatever's down there and then we'll go home. Let's finish doing the, the tree spreader stuff and maybe we move the bees or we move the butterflies outside so that they can, you know, be one with nature. I think that's only fair. Would you want to be cooped up in a biodome? Just drinking some coffee. My God, is it good? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Sorry for like this. This last like 30, 40 minutes has just been sort of bag maintenance. But honestly, we're just cleaning up the mess that we left all over the planet. Now that we can kind of zoom around pretty quickly with the teleporters. Which is fun. That's a rare. Oh, you know what? We don't need this either. Ugh, and I love that trash thing. All right, cool. We've got some aluminium. And then there's one white in my bag. Good. And we've got a rare larva on us. And then we're taking our excess iron and we're finishing up this structure out here where we've been um, putting heaters and plant and uh, power plants. So allow us to, we, maybe we can build three or four more heaters and then maybe we can build, whoops, we can build uh, another couple of bigger, the big green power plants, the nuclear ones. All right, so let's go drink some water. Gulp. And let's go back out there one more time. Whoa. Let's look a legitimate forest. Looks great. Looks great. Moon station. Let's go down here to where the yellow is and let's just clean out whatever I put down there. And then and pull the beacon out too. Like, yeah, we should. The only beacons now should just be where there's a teleporter. Oh, this is the very last one I built. Inventory full. Yeah, well, let me let me unfull it. I mean, do we just leave this? There's really no... There's no reason for this to be here because there's water I can drink right there. Hi. Oh, I built myself a little food thing here. <sighs> These are funny. Hey, yep, you're staying there. Uh, and then we've been, I guess the only other place we probably still have stuff is way back in the back there. There's, um, there's that spaceship that had a whole bunch of stuff in it. <sighs> Should we go back there and just make sure that that's clean? Like why we're all the way back here? Um... Let's sort this by things we're not going to take all the way back. Take that for sure. Um, all right. Hey, it's nighttime. I love the nightlife. Mm -hmm. Whoops, I'm going to the wrong purple beacon. Guess that could be a little confusing. Should have made them shades of purple beacons. 
Oh, oh, did you see that rock materialize in front of my face? Man, it's really dark over here. I don't know that I would... I don't know that I would build a build in the moon base area. Home, please. Um, all right. Swear, I swear to God, this is like... We're getting close to not having to go back and forth anymore. <laughs> uh, uh, water. Uh, I, I guess, no to anybody that plays the game, this is how to do it. Just take what you can in all of your early expeditions and what you absolutely need. And when you get the teleporter, you can go back and just pocket teleport, which is what I did. Take enough to build one. I'm going to just teleport back and forth uh, loading your bags full of everything you kind of left out there I mean I have stuff scattered all over the planet that some some of it great a lot of it like just base material that I've just thrown in boxes and, may, I, and I've got to believe that sort of I want to believe everyone sort of does it the way I do it I mean I'm sure there are some people that are like completionists who are like I'll just, they run back everything out but I just took the stuff that was really hard to get a hold of at first and then slowly but I mean, as we just saw, like I missed a room in that last one. Yeah, two things are happening now, right? One, I've got teleporters and two, I have unlimited oxygen, which means there's no rush anymore. So uh, I almost feel like once you get to the teleporter stage, you've already got oxygen. So it, it, it's going to make my next playthrough of the game a lot, a lot different, a, a lot different, right? Because I, I know now like, oh, okay, Th this will be my next playthrough. Ah, uh, I'll just wait till I get a teleporter, then I'll go back for that. I don't, I don't think that'll, I think it'll just, it'll, it'll change my gameplay. It's not going to ruin the, it won't ruin the game for me. Especially if there's a bunch of fun new stuff. I mean, how many times have I replayed Oxygen Not Included or Satisfactory? I mean, anyone, RimWorld? Hundreds of times. Still fun. Uh, uh, all right. Um, is this a food seed? No, this is a tree seed. Oh, these are full too. No. Oh, good. I made room. I made room. Uh, a little bit of magnesium. I got one blue here. And then we're taking this iron and we're building. We're doing a little light building over here. Gulp down some water. Our gulp gauge is full. Okay. Uh, oh, that's hilarious. So how the code is written, the larvae spawn in your general, like where you are. So it leads to a lot of like weird random spawns. All right, good. Good, good, good. Uh... There's a big part of me that's tempted to go back out to that spaceship. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's not necessarily close, but it's a lot closer than home. I, maybe we missed, maybe number one, I'm going out there because I think there might be some courts that I missed out there. And number two, Maybe I missed a room. So let's, I mean, we're right here. We're sort of in exploration mode anyway. So let's just, let's just run back out there. Take a look. Hi. Mm, I'll take that. I'm sure there's, I didn't, we don't think there's something underwater here, do we? Oh my God. No, 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 this is, this isn't anything. This is nothing. This is nothing. It's just a random, it really is nothing. Come on. Seriously, there's nothing down here? I was just like, like I'd like a sign from the developer that's just like future content area. Oh, you know what? There is something down here because remember on the map, it said that there's, uh, there's some kind of sulfur that you could mine out of here. And I went everywhere. 
I went everywhere around here and I didn't, I didn't see any sulfur. Hello? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Molly, Molly just came in and said, I think it's time to take a break. You know, I'm in a, I'm in a groove right now. I'm almost time for, it's almost time for a break. It is almost time for a break. I need to, I need to stand up. It's been a couple of hours. Just, I want to finish this one thing before we, I don't want to come back and, I don't want to come back and deal with this, if you know what I mean. I didn't, when I was here the last time, I didn't spend a lot of time underwater because I was still restricted by the oxygen, but it doesn't, on the map it says there's like, and sorry, that's kind of loud. Um, on the map it says there's sulfur out here. Like you can mine sulfur. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like there should be like a secret room? I mean, there is a gold box at the top. Oh, no, wait. Uh, for those of you that don't want spoilers, cover, uh, cover your ears. There, I mean, there is a gold box at the top of the waterfall, so it's not like it's not... And amazing views. I, forgot, I took pictures up there. I guess there could be... We're just... Just... Just taking, a, taking in these few areas that we kind of speed ran through at the very end there. Yeah, it looks, doesn't look like we missed anything. Let's take a quick look inside here. <clears throat> Excuse me, and see. Did I drag, I didn't drag anything else up. Did I put a beacon on that? No, good. All right. Uh, and let's look for a, com this is the one, this is the one with the cool staircases and everything. If you'll remember. If you'll remember. All right, so there's a reason I left all of that. I don't want it. And then it breaks down into two rooms off the sides there. And then these two rooms. Oh, holy shit. Okay, so see, this is like definitely some stuff we could have used. Oh, I didn't get that back there either. A computer chip. And then we're just going to click all the walls to make sure there isn't some hidden wall we missed, right? Mm -mm. This is the one where... We, what the... This is going to be a computer chip? Yeah. Uh, this is the one, too, where, like, there's doors that open. Yeah, because we need, we need to have some kind of... We need three fusion things to get this thing running. Did we miss this room? What the blank? No, I wish I would have built a teleporter all the way out here. <laughs> that, that light is not as bad as the other one. And then the two rooms off the side here. Oh, I left the pocket portal in the moon area because I was convinced I wasn't going to do any more um, exploring. But here I am um, exploring. So wait, is there just just looking at these rooms? Just looking at these rooms now. That guy was like, look behind a wall behind a computer screen. I'm just, uh, let's drop the shit that is filling our bags up that we don't need. Not a lot that we don't want. Not there, right? All right. Do, 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 do. We've been up here and then th there's these, these doors are going to open. There's a bunch of stuff behind them, but we need to have the reactor come online. Mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. All right. 
All right, so we didn't we didn't miss too much in this ship. Um, let's just look. Let's since we're here, let's just look on the other side, and then we'll head back, and then we'll take a small, and then we'll then we're gonna take a short break. Sounds like I need to stand up. Cool. All right. Good, good, good. Good. So the next time we come out here is when we unlock the fusion cells and then we can build those and... Yeah, we can really mix it up. All right, let's go back to the teleporter. Okay, so... I mean, uh, did we miss a lot of stuff? Uh, yeah, look at all that. <laughs> I mean, the biggest thing are the CPUs, right? That's huge. Okay, so we've done, we've done, we did the back side of the map, or what I would call the, you know, we did the one side of the map that, one part we didn't see, and I still think that, like, did we miss something on that big arch? Uh, I don't know. I guess at some point we can go back there. So let's go back to the base, let's drop off this stuff. Let's get up and take a break. Then when we come back, we'll finish doing the the trees, and then we'll work on putting down some more uh, collectors. You know, you know what? We'll trees, and then we'll do butterflies. Because, I mean, everybody loves butterflies. Hello, all for your stream on. <laughs> hey, uh, hello, bot man. How are you? Mm -mm. Um. Home. Home. All right, let's take a break. Uh, get up, stretch, get some water, maybe some more coffee. I mean, if it's that time of the night for you, maybe a beer. Uh, and we will see you in just a couple of minutes.
Doesn't really fade the music out, does it? At least not in my ears. Maybe it does. Maybe it does in the stream. I don't think it does. It just kind of cuts it off. All right, I got some coffee. <clears throat> I did my email. I thought about the the world large. Contemplated all those things. And now we're back with Planet Crafter. Hey. So... <clears throat> We have spent the last hour <laughs> uh, cleaning out the planet with the help of our friendly teleporter. And we've got another full bag full of stuff. Uh, this was not on my stream title, but I'm happy that we have done it. And oh my gosh, I filled this up. Um, Let's do this. Let's build another power plant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're just filling everything up. Let's pull this out of here. Maybe we should put these compute. Maybe we should put these engines in their own bin, huh? Yes, I'd like to start an engine bin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Running out of room. Like sooner or later, those engines are all going to go away, right? Wait, what? <clears throat> yeah. Sooner than later, hopefully. Yes, I would like all of these. Perfect. And then this has always just been the powder uh, bin, but I constantly put just other random shit in there. Okay, cool. Wow, look at that. Half a container full of engines from throughout the planet. And then we filled up the... the con with, so this is... Uh, I think this is every computer chip you can pull from the planet. There might be one or two that we miss, but I'm pretty sure that's, that's the lot. Uh, the music is on. I can't, it's so quiet. Could just be a quiet song. I wonder. I think it's just a quiet song. One moment, we're changing songs. It's ambient music today, so it just should sort of sort of be in the background. It's like the quiet, like they're, it, like every song is quieter than the last. It's hilarious. All right. See if you can hear. Let's see if you can hear that. Uh, a little bit more powder. And then let's build uh, just another reactor to use the green rods. Three green... Oh, could have taken the red powder we had on us. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, three green rods, a super, and some water. We'll pull the water from the outside. This seems awkwardly put now that I've pulled everything else out. There used to be a bunch of different buildings there. Hmm. Should we just put one right here? Yeah. That doesn't look too bad. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, we'll see if that's actually gonna... We'll see if we actually make it to the rebuild today, Malls. I'm excited too at some point. Um, everything. Well, not everything. I, I think that... These rooms... 
from from here back is all new, right? These are the big rooms and everything forward. This is what's left of the original base. And this definitely needs to get blown up. So I think what's going to happen is we're just going to blow up this side of the base and kind of rework it. We'll see, though. I don't think that's going to be today. Oh, the bin is full. Okay, so, whoa, cool. As a minium rod, we can build those now. What does that take to build? I guess we can look in the old, uh, it takes blues, cool. Let's finish what we started, which is upgrading. I think one, two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, there's eight. How many are left? We're upgrading the tier two spreaders. So, um, oh, this will tell us. <clears throat> tier three spreaders, we got five. We've got six out there. So we've got plenty. And all, all we need to do is, it just takes one more tier two fertilizer. So we just need to find the remaining tier twos. And I think this is a tier two. It is. So and then we're going to take out the tree soil. And you know what we're going to do too is we sequenced some new highbrow um, tree seeds. So we're going to use those too. Instead of the one that was in there, which was 125 oxygen multiplier. These ones are 250. So I think that'll be, whoops, I almost stepped into the teleporter. And I think we're going to move this one out a little bit further. Well, I don't know about that. I didn't mind the trees kind of being around the base. It was nice. But I'd also like to, I might also, hold on, let's think. I might also like to expand out this way. So maybe we won't put it back down here. Maybe we'll move it elsewhere. And look at all these trees. Yeah, let's put it, let's put it way out here. Where are there five more of these things? <laughs> let's put one over here. Mm -mm. Oh, then I gotta make sure, don't forget to put the tree thing in. 250. All right, good luck. What did I say? There were six total, so now we're down to five. And we can tell which ones they are because they have just two instead of three on the stack. I'm looking at this one right in front of us. It looks like... Good lord. Looks like this is a tier two. Yep. And then let's just put another one like right down where it was. And then 125, 125, 250. All right. Cool. Um, wait, is this a tier two? It is. Cool. Yep. All right. Pull it. And then we'll put a tier three right down on top of it. 125, 125, 400. Woo. Uh, so that means there's three more, I think. If my math is correct, I love this time of night. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Looking, looking, looking here. That's got three on it. That has three also. That's three. That, remember we put one in the desert. In the desert. Look at it over there. Hi, guy. How'd you do? All by yourself out here. <laughs> I mean, the trees grew. It looks kind of funny out here by itself. Yeah, the nighttime in this game, it's the best. It's the best. It's like twi- it's not like night, it's like twilight hour the whole time. Uh, 175. Shading, who needs it? Um, I don't, uncommon, all right. 
I don't think that's all of them, right? Didn't it say there were six? Mm. Let's see, let's see. We're looking for tree spreaders with only twos on them instead of threes. Three. Mm -hmm. So many trees. He is a shit talker. But, you know, if you, if you have an MO, you got to stick with it. Wait, is that a two right there? No, that's a three. Huh. Maybe I got them all. And I just don't know how to count. No comment. Oh, there's a two over there, I think. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Remember the ones I had in the water to start? I feel like we could move... Well, I guess this is a good location. Let's move it in just a little bit. Uh, 150. All right, cool. Now let's go and... Let's go and check. I feel like... I guess maybe we got them all? Let's just look at the... Tier 3, yeah, that's it. We got That was the last one, I think. Tier 3, 10 of them. Man. Uh, yeah, I don't see. Oh, no, there's one more out there. One tier two spreader somewhere. And then I've got two. I've got tr tree saplings. Let's look at what other tree sapling we have. Maybe we build one more. Um, it's a 150. Yeah, let's build one more. What do I need to build this thing complete? A tree bark, a white, a bacteria, and a super. A tree bark, a white, a bacterium, and a super. And then I have two bags of fertilizer, and then we've got one. We need to find that tier one that's out there. Well, how did we miss it? Let's go, let's go up high and see if we can see it. I mean, it's got to be over there somewhere, right? There's no... I mean, it's not the end of the world if we can't find it. We'll stumble upon it at some point, right? All right, let's just, let's take a walk through the forest here. That's got a three, that's got a three. 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 Three is the magic number. Yes, it is. It's a magic number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Aha, look, he's hidden here. Here he is. All right. Oh, it had a 400 in it, too. All right, so that's all of them. Now we got one more. Let's put it... Uh, there seems to be a real lack of trees right here. Let's put it right here. So now there's 11 of those running, and they're pumping some serious oxygen. I haven't looked at the index number. Top right corner, 55, 59. We started at 32, so I love the trees. I do too, Malls. I do too. Uh, cool. Let's Now it's Operation Butterfly. Or as I like to call it, Operation Butterfly. Just food, space food. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that out of there. It's a real it's a real jungle out here. <laughs> um what do we need to build these outdoor thing bajingies? Uh basically what's in there? I think let's let's blow one of these things up and see what happens. Hi guys. Don't worry, everything's gonna be fine. Can we build the outdoor one? We just need a piece of bio nugget. 
All right, let's grab... There's three of those running now, so let's grab three bio nuggets. And how big are these? How big are these things? Oh my god. So it's gonna go wait, it's gonna go from this giant building to this tiny little thing. And hilarity ensues. Let's build it next to this rock. Oh, and it takes one. I'm so confused. Right, I mean, hold on, let's let's just look at this. Let's look at the numbers again here. So this is generating the butterfly dome is maybe maybe I didn't do this right. The butterfly dome is generating 20 insects a second. No. And the butterfly farm is generating 75 a second. So it's way better. Way, way better. Yeah, way better. Drax? <laughs> and then the butterflies get to live outside. Until a giant meteor comes. All right. I mean, I'm down. Like, I, these are pretty. But they take a bunch more resources. I just feel like there was some other benefit to this too, but there isn't. And I guess the benefit is that it, it carries two of them. So the, but even now, because we could just keep building those. Yeah. All right. Stop, stop trying to figure it out and just roll with it. I think this could fill my bags though. So we may have to just wait. Let's, let's get rid of some of this excess iron we've got here. <clears throat> Excuse me. I realized that I didn't take a drink of water the entire, that first two hours. Whoops. I'm like, gosh, I'm having a, I'm having a hard time talking. I wonder why. Mm. Okay, good. Uh, let's, oh, well, looks like we're in need of some... Do we finally eat the bag of high-quality food? Yep. What else do we have on us here? We've got a bunch of larvae. Larva. Let's get rid of this. Let's put this in here. Uh, we have far too much titanium on us. What do we need to build these things? Because we're going to need to build more of them. Um, T2 fertilizer and bioplastic and the white. So let's build, let's grab, what do we, how, many, how many of these guys do we have now? Uh, we need three more, so let's at least grab three more. One, one two, three, and then we need more T2. Let's, do we have any more new? No. Let's do three more of those, please. Tier two fertilizer coming right up. Uh, Mr. Drax, uh, anything else I can get you? Yeah, why don't you, uh, you guys got any Twinkies? When was the last time you had a Twinkie? Remember when they got discontinued a few years ago and then they came back? I think that's the last time I had one. I was never a big Twinkie fan. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. All right. Uh, good. And then we'll throw that guy in there. Mm-hmm. Hey! Yeah. Wait. On one, 230. We need to do some, we need to do some DNA butterflying too. Yeah, like, I think when Kaja came in today and he was like, you know, what, what have you got left unlocked? What have you got left to do? Like, 
every time I'm like, uh, it's kind of winding down. There's like a ton of stuff to do still. Like we could just, we could min max a lot. Like in terms of the butterflies, we could spend some time at the DNA station, just making that better, making better versions. I mean, some of these, some of these butterflies are like starter butterflies that are in here. Uh, I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to just deconstruct that entire building. Cool. This this one rock is just going to have a ton of butterflies. I guess we could, like, you know, makes it easier when I got to figure out where they all are, right? Uh, I like to centralize my butterfly action. This is just uncommon. All right. Plus 90, plus 172, plus 175, 1.3. Jeez. That's KG. Um, I feel like that's gonna that's gonna take up our whole butterfly scenario big time. Let's look let's look at the let's look at the butterfly options, if you will. Five hundred. Didn't we get some crazy? Yeah, we got this thing. We need to make this thing. We need to make whatever this is. I'd like to make whatever this is. The Nera Larva, 600 plus. Okay, what do I need to... Uh, it looks like I'm just... Oh, wait, that's just that's just ready to go into one of them right now. Insect multiplier, right? All right, cool. Let's just make another one of those butterfly huts. Tier two and a white and, and a thingy and a what have you and a... Yep. <laughs> uh, another one of those, please. Thank you. And one of those. And I'll take one of these. Guess we'll just let another one ride. Don't forget to get your stuff out of the... The maker. Oh, gosh. Yeah, the flow is a little wrong. Like, I, I kind of... Like, the doors are in not great places. Like, it needs to be redone in there. Yeah, look at that. Plus 450. Open the butterfly farm. Oh, wow. It's pretty. It's like a rainbow butterfly. Look at that. I mean, that's a that's the screenshot. How do we get that going on? Hold on. Let's just fire off a couple of those. Can we get can we get one of those multicolored ones to fly in front of us? Do -do. Pretty. Yeah, those ones are I'd like the whole just the whole planet full of those if we could. All right. I think we've got a screenshot. Okay. Uh what do we got here? So suddenly we had more tree bark come out of those. Well, I moved the I moved I moved the other tree thing, but the trees are spreading even farther. All right, the terraform index is at 58. Where are we? Um, let's look at the unlocks here. There's a there's a tier two thing that goes in the pond. And I just wonder how far we are from that. This is all fish stuff. Maybe it's maybe it's here. Mm -mm. No. Water life collect. Collect plankton 155. Let's see, where are we right here? <clears throat> All right. Wow. We're almost, we're almost to the fusion cells. 66. We can turn those things. We're really close to freaking drones too. Look at that. 78. I could swear there was another like algae collector version two for the river. Uh, but maybe I'm. Maybe I'm crazy, you'll never know. Uh, let's just look. Maybe I've already unlocked it. <laughs> no, it's right here. Algae, oh. 
I guess that is the algae generator too. We should, let's, this creates, this is like the, one of the very few things that creates biomass. And that's this number down here. Um, which I guess the biomass number is, uh, is the insects and the plants together. So I guess that includes all the tree spreaders we've got out there. So it's, it's moving along. I mean, the only insects we do right now are the bees. I mean, what a, didn't we just get a, we didn't get the bee farm two yet. We just have bee farm one. But it's, oh, it's creating 350 plants and in, plants and insects where this thing's just creating insects. So should we throw a couple more bees down? Mm, mm, I think so. Everything's fine. Yeah, so these all create, we haven't, I mean, we don't, we haven't built a flower spreader in forever just because it didn't, it didn't stand a chance next to this thing, which is generating a ton of oxygen. And then this thing was generating 1250 plants a second. So, um, I just think that the, the bees are sort of a, they're a dual 350 and 15 it almost seems like you should just do butterflies instead. Can we, let's just, let's look at the butterfly larvae here. Can we, do we have any? So out of rare ones, we could do 500 multiple. So we could replace some of the low end butterflies we've got out there with some more high end, you know, high end butterfly. I'm more of a high end butterfly kind of guy. So it's a rare, a mutagen and a, and a um, let's do a little of this before we move on to our next, our next uh, thing. I'm done for today. Yeah, all right, Marcus. Sweet. Welcome to the end of the day. So we're tree spreading. We've completed food optimization is next in base building. So let's just, let's just mess with the butterflies a little bit. And then we'll, we'll look at rebuilding this food area. I think that's a solid plan. And the reason I want to redo the food is just because um, it's annoying me, <laughs> to be honest. Like, it's not, it's, unfortunately, the day is not done with me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, tree bark. Yeah. Wait. Oh, is this full? No, I just didn't drop them for some reason. Okay, so I won't want to... Uh, did we already forget what I was looking at? Of course we did. Mutagen and something. So to do this and just a regular fertilizer. I think there's I think there's a mutagen in this thing right here. No, that's mutagen two. So yeah, we got two of these. And then it's just regular fertilizer. Let's drop that T2 back in there. And then a rare... Uh, larva, which I'm sure we have. Now oh, that's uncommon. Let's sort these up. Yep, got a nice rare one. And then this one works just like the tree thing. You put it in there. Got to hit. Remember to hit the, the the research button. I've walked away and not hit the research button. It moves pretty quick. And then I think it's a crapshoot on which one of these ones we'll get. So cross your fingers. Uh, all right. Let's look at. Let's do this. Let's build some fabric out of the <clears throat> stuff that's in there. To make some room. Oh. Tree seeds. Excellent. I don't, I've not used fabric at all. I don't think like maybe for like one thing. I guess I want to, my goal is to make the food. Like I almost want to get rid of these things that are inside here and go to all beds outside because the beds grow four. <clears throat> 
So, and then that would actually give us some more storage. We could grow the storage this way a little bit more. But I do, and then, I, then the question is like, Eudea, because right now this one, this one autocrafter can take everything that we can make and make it. We don't have to worry about it. It can grab every single thing. It's a little light on the one end down there. But do you make one that if we click in, do we make one that just makes... Uh, see, it's just hard, right? Because it's not like the fertilizer stuff is just food, right? It's also needing this and that. So you... Um, like to to not overly complicate it. I like how I put this light here, and it doesn't because of like the way the shadowing works. You really can't see. Oh, hey, you can see out that window now. Uh, so there's a part of me that says, "Listen, it, it's complicated because like sulfur is needed for other things, but it's and then." Algae and methane mostly just for fertilizer. So do you move enough of this to that area? So here, here's, here's the thing. Do you build another building that just deals with the food? Or do we just still get... I, I'm leaning towards this right now, which is to get rid of all the interior food and just start building beds outside where all the food can be grown. And then we can go and grab it because it grows four at a time and you need fewer beds. And the beds are actually good for, if we look at, if we look at the bed, you know, it's, it's, it's plants and insects it's generating. Whereas this thing is doing none of that. So it's not helping us with the terraforming process. Unfortunately, I think we need bees to build more beds. So it means more time at the, so maybe that's where we start. We spent a little time here at the, oh wow, we got the 500. Holy shit. Let's do another one of those. Um, I think we need another DNA sequencer probably too. Larvae, this, this. Hit the research button. Let's go... Let's go build another... Uh, let's just go build another... Whatchamahoosit. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Butterfly container. Do do. Am I doing enough recycling? No. No, I am not. No, I am not. Magma! I'm not doing enough recycling at all. Yeah, that's why this game has been hurting. What kind of... Oh, here we go. Ha ha ha! Cobalt. Here's the here's the best part. I don't need any more cobalt. Destroyed. Uh yeah. We need a tier two fertilizer. We might as well build two of those because we're gonna end up getting another butterfly. And then we need this, and we need another one of these. Maybe it's done butterflying. Yes, it is. That was fast. 2.30. Okay, well, can't, can't all be champions. Mm -mm. Wait, what? Oh, my God. I did it. I did it again. I did it again. I didn't grab them out of the auto. Hello, butterfly friends. Um, oh boy. Can we cheat this in here? 500 multiplier. <laughs> spread, spread throughout the, the universe. All right, one more. Yep. And then this one's just 230. That's okay though. That's okay. 
It's okay, brave friend. Guess we'll take these water while we're out here. Uh, and we'll fill, I'm sure these waters, are they getting, are they getting low in here? They are, oh, well, or, sort of getting low. Uh, all right, so we need more bees, which is not a fun process either. Bees are uncommon, and then something else. There's something else. Nitrogen and fertilizer, which I don't think... I love how the tree is coming through. So now we know these aren't airtight. Look at this. It's like coming through the, the seam here. Attack of the killer tree. Uh, bu, 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 bu. we need this stuff. Can we build one of these? Do we have? Yeah. How about another? Yeah, and another. I didn't think there were that many there, but I swear to God, this is a bug. I mean, oh, there we go. I was like, I know there are not that many there. Uh, let's do this stuff. I bet we're going to run out of algae. All right, we're going to redo our food situation, and we're going to move all of the internal food stuff to external beds. And the biggest, the biggest challenge uh, for this is that... We'll need to, hey, we'll need a bunch of bees. And the bees are not something you just find outside. They have to be sequenced through the DNA machine. So we're building the mass for that. I almost feel like we should build another DNA machine so we can double down on this, speed it up a little bit. Uh, and then we just need regular fertilizer, right? Right, right. What do we need to build another sequencer? I don't even know what that looks like. Oh, is that it? No. This is it? Oh, it's called an incubator. Uh, tree bark, super, oxygen, and T2. Sounds like we've run out of something. Uh, what do you think it is? Algae? No, oh, that's easy. Let's go out and get some of that here in a second. Let's go here. Where are we going to put the second one is the question. It's this, this, and this. And we hit research. Good. Let's throw this shit in here. And then let's put away... What did we have on this? Magnesium? No. This silicon, and then this is trash. Hey, this is trash. No, come on. And then we got a, an extra blue in our wallet for some reason. Hi, I'm going to throw this back in there for a minute. We're just going to go, we're going to get a bunch of algae out of the water. So we want to make sure our bags are completely empty. And then I've just been, my iron is completely full, so I've been building these foundations. So instead of trashing it or building a more storage, I've just been coming over here and using it. All right. Underwater we go. I haven't been like, I've, I've been trying to keep up with this, but now we have so many of these. And I say that now that I don't feel, I feel like it's our rate of return is pretty. Once I fill my bags once, there's enough of them to do it maybe three more times and then they're growing again. So yeah, see, there's still still plenty. And honestly, I haven't been going through it as quickly because I, I haven't been mass producing um, fertilizer. Should we go? Should we go like half a half a bag? Oh, you know what? We need this finally. <laughs> Someone dropped that oxygen bottle there, and it's like they didn't want it. I'll take it. Is it free? Clickety click. Oh, uh, well, just a few more here, right? Uh, one more. There we go. Boom. 
The trees now are just spectacular. Look at this. And those tier three ones, they, they spread them really far. So you sort of get a mix of all the different ones. It's great. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Uh, hi. Yeah. Let's just throw them here. I love the trees. Uh, what was I talking about? I was talking about building another one of these. So fertilizer, super alloy, tree bark. The tree bark is down here now. We threw a T2 in there. And I had a super alloy in my bag I took out. I don't know. This is going to be dirty. I think we're going to throw it like... Where will it... Where will it fit? Like, right? That's bad. That's really bad. Uh, yeah, that looks great. <laughs> uh, uncommon, uncommon. This, 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 this. How did we do? We got to be. All right. Here, here, here. Research. This is temporary. I'm not going to leave this here. Whoops, that's a B. And then we learned, we learned we can use a recycler, thanks Hells, uh, if we get a silkworm instead of a bee, and we can give it another shot. Hi, yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit more of this. Perfecto, perfecto, huh? Take some notes. Well, that's the last of the leftover burnt coffee. So we need two bees per bed. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we should have the whole room full of these incubators going. Ooh, oh my God, I need coffee. Thanks for the reminder. You're welcome. Um, here, here, here. We're going to run out of uncommon. Drax? Drax? Oh boy, here she goes. Um, aha, uh -huh. so, um, one of our... One of our lovely viewers helped us out the last time. So if you get silkworms and you don't want them and you're like, blast, you can take them over to the recycler, put them in, hit recycle. It gives you back everything and you get to do it again, which I don't know how the hell they figured that out, but that's the hack of the century in my mind. I would have like a thousand silkworms right now just being like all upset. A watched incubator doesn't boil. Another silkworm. All right. And then we just uh, recycle it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This game would be fun multiplayer. Um, so we can build one bed now. What are we going to do with these? What are we going to do with these beds? What the hell is this? Um, <laughs> that's funny that that tree is there. I have them sort of like half cocked over here. I don't actually like where they are, but I also know that like, I wonder if you can put them on a pedestal. Don't put me on a pedestal. Um, Hi, yeah. Just, just pull this out of here. Do we have enough room in our bags for this? I think. Um, let's see. Can it be clean? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem like it's. Eh, that's not bad looking. It looks cleaner than it on the floor. So maybe we build like a little bit of a raised farm. 
that you can run up and sort of uh, take everything out. Warning, hydration level low. No, fusion cell. What does it take to grow one of those or make one of those? All right, that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to drink the water. I wanted to drink the water. Um, We have to look, right? I accidentally picked up two algae while I was out there and some wheat. Uh, Yes, hello. I'd like to see what it takes to build a fusion cell. All right, well, I think what we know what we'll be doing next week. <laughs> I still don't. If you are, if you're watching and you know, like, I I'm willing to get a little backseat on this. Like, how are you getting more um, pulsar quartz? Like, we're going to need, we're not going to need a lot more, but like, I just don't feel like it's renewable anywhere. Like, we found it in a few caves and we've mined it out and it seems like, that one place underwater over there seemed like it was maybe going to come back and we can go grab some more of it. And maybe I need to run over there, but like, it's going to like, I feel like we're going to, we need three of these fusion cells to run the big ship and open all the doors. And then there's, I'm sure you can make them. Oh yeah, you're right. It unlocks. That's what it is. Mickey, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Let's look at but it's far away. That's the, that's, it's the very last thing at 175. So we still have a, <laughs> we got a long way to go. Uh, yeah. Just got to sit it out until you unlock them. All right, Scoob. Thanks, man. Which I guess is cool. So I'm guessing you don't need a lot of them to build. I mean, let's find out. We're, we're close to drones. Yeah, I think, um, and we're not close to finishing today, but just talking about like, I've been talking about all week, whether we'll play another week of planet craft, or I think it's obvious now we definitely will play another week of planet. Craft. I, I want to unlock drones. I want to mess with them. And it sounds like now next week will be drone week. Welcome to drone week. Hey, we got, we got some bees in there. Uh, yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Go. All right. Hi. Oh, bees in here too. I got bees twice. Come on, get out of here. Oh, I think we're, I think we're in the need of some, Oh, we got, we got some more of still, some more uncommons. Drax and the attack of the drones. Now that's drone racing. Uh, so I like the look of this. <laughs> yeah, thanks, false. Uh, now the question is, can you, if you put this, oh, can we get rid of some of these trees? And we may have to pull the tree spreader to get rid of them. We're getting ready to we're getting ready to like start a, a bigger farm idea here. Yeah, so which one of you lovely it looks like there's multiple tree spreaders that are putting these trees in here. It's probably this one. All right. Hi. Yeah. We're getting ready to construct, so we're going to need to... Hmm. <laughs> well, that took out one bunch of them. Son of a... Should we put this guy farther away from the base? Should I... There we go. Okay, we're just going to go out here a little ways. Uh... It's a jungle out here. Okay, well that cleared out some of them. Where is the, the other one is, where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? This one here. So let's see what happens when we take this guy out. Oh, I didn't put the, I didn't put the seed in there. Food levels low. I don't have any food on me, dude. We're gonna get a storm? Seriously? Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. We haven't gotten a storm since we like logged in. Ugh, God. Red sky at night. 
It's a delight. What's it dropping? Oh, look at that. Okay, that worked. Look, it cleared all these trees out. Is anyone else's eyes burning? Should we see what it's dropping? I think this red one is just dropping like, like normal, normal shit. So let's build a farm. Let's build a farm here, I think. Uh, the question is at what height? Cause you know, we'll just, we'll lock it to the world grid. I make satisfactory jokes. Maybe we do something like... Oh, you can't. Oh, you can. We could lock it to this. Is it... No, 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 no. All right. Let's do something like this, I think. And maybe it's... We'll do... And then... A little ladder. Is that... Oh yeah, that really... Oh, come on. Alright, so we can walk down the middle and pick up... Look at all those butterflies! Are we too far... That way, and that way we got some room. We can expand this out if we want to. Another big building. And then we come in here and take this. Yeah, I think this is... This is the way. Alright. Uh, uh... Someone didn't hit the research button... All right, uh, ooh. Can I get this, thank you. And then uh, uncommon this guy, this guy, and make sure you hit the research Drags. button. Yeah, right. I'm just too clicky. And then uh, we're gonna recycle the silkworm and try again. Cool. That is the hack of the century, I swear. Uh, okay, they're working. And now we came back in for some more iron. I guess we'll just fill up the bag there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do we think? Or do we think we should lower it to lower it just a little bit so that it that the ah, I just can never like that looks we're gonna do it, right? Can we get it so that the staircase is a one staircase? This will be this will be fun, ladies and gentlemen. Watch as the famous Drax attempts to do something only done in history. Okay, better. Yeah, that way it's not. And then. Uh, how about we make it so that it's lined up with the door? <laughs> yeah! Hey. All right. So, up here, sort of lined up with the door. <laughs> That door could move, though. That door could move. Uh, and then a little bit of room over there for a bit of a walk. And if we want to, then we can double up and go down the down the way. Nothing's permanent in this world, right? Like, food level critical. Um, fine, I'll eat. Oh, wow. They weren't joking. Mmm... Let's check the bees. Let's check the bees. How do we do? Silkworm. Silkworm. Man, it's on to me. It's like, you want bees? No. No. What they don't know is that I can recycle. Hi, Buckma. You show up, and now I'm just a recycling fiend. Thank you. Thank you. You know I love to recycle. Uh... You know what it is, I think, is that I hit the research button, but then I come out of the window before it starts. <laughs> I think I come out of the window before it starts. And, uh, and that's why it doesn't do... Don't get cocky malls. Don't get cocky malls. 
it doesn't actually get started. Okay. Oh, that's confusing. When you come out the second door, you're near this mine, which this mine needs to move to. Like, it, it, like this mine, this is one of those things where I'm like, oh, space. But, like, literally, it should be, like, right outside the door so you turn and walk to it. Boom. Um... <laughs> like 10 seconds behind. Hi, are you uncommon? No, you look very common to me. No judgment, you just... It's just not... How about you? No, you're definitely common. What is this? Just iron on the ground? Ugh. Mm. How many grow beds? So we need... A couple of each, maybe? Bloop. How many different varieties are there? There's mushrooms, eggplant, the green stringy things, and then you got wheat and cocoa. So you got five, but honestly, you, oh, and then um, squash. So you got You got four main food groups, right? Beans, squash, mushrooms, and um, wherever they are. These eggplants. So you got four. So if you do two beds, so if you do, to start, if you do two beds of each, it's eight beds, right? And then I don't think we'll grow. We've got enough wheat to grow croissants. Like I don't, the, the birthday, the birthday stuff is uh is gonna end so i don't i don't know that i'm gonna build beds for that and in case you missed uh our birthday run we did on tuesday we did the bunker birthday uh, extravaganza which was quite fun you get a cake you get to find a bunker you get a bunch of cool stuff i did a really quick video um it's just a couple minutes long and it just kind of runs our run to pick up the cake and, and make it um uh, and if you if you enjoy youtube videos where there's just a guy talking, then I'm your man. So uh, please run over there and check it out. Maybe, you know, drop a like, uh, a subscribe would be beautiful. And a comment about how much you enjoy hearing, you know, the uh, off color remarks about balloons in a terraforming game. Oh, I also, you get to see my face, which is like on the, well, not on the video, but you know, a picture to the video. <laughs> All right, so you need eight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, yeah, so that's enough. And then this is just like a cool place we'll stand and watch it all grow. Do I have, do I have a bed just sitting? No, wait, I thought I pulled a bed. Oh no, I did, it's right here. Hello. Mm -hmm. Now, are these gonna be easy just to line up on here? And then where, do, like, do you want them? Does it matter? It's pretty damn close. Oh, and I had wheat, so... <laughs> wheat! Let's go check on our bees, shall we? And let's throw all of that back in there. Du, 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 du. Hi! Oh, 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 okay. You guys did well. Bees, I like that. Everybody likes to see that. And bees twice? Okay. Um, do we have more uncommons? We do. We're getting kind of low here. This, this, and this. Good. What do we need to build these beds? T2 fertilizer, super, and water. I'm thirsty. I am thirsty. Hold on a second. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. <laughs> if there's stuff on the ground, Drax is to blame. Okay. Uh, T2 fertilizer. There's one. Hi. I'm going to need some of this. Let's just let that run. Uh... What does it need to make this? 
eggplant is what it's doing. All right. And let's <clears throat> pull these guys, huh? And we have plenty of food seeds, like more than enough. Do, 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 do. How's it coming? Oh, good. Uh, let's change it to this and take two of them. Good. Good, good, good. So we're going to need, we're going to need, what did it say? One or two. Oh, one of each. Okay. Mm, stopped again. Why have you stopped? I'm guessing it's because we're out of squash, algae, or methane. <laughs> uh, let's stop it for now. What's going on here? We're out of methane. Son of a biscuit. Let's check on these guys, of course, failure. And a bee, hooray! Okay, do this and this and this, and we need, oh, we can recycle this guy to give it a second run, right? Well, we finally come to the moment where I was, I have, I've been sort of keeping up with the methane, but not really. Let's build another methane blower, another gas blower, oh boy. Oh, two whites, a red, a red rod, and three super. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Two whites. We're a little low on the white there, huh? Was it just one red rod? One red rod. I'm Ruby Rod. Oh, man. I want to watch, uh, suddenly want to watch uh, The Fifth Element. Okay. So, this is going to be a process. Should we build another one? <laughs> And then, what, three supers? Three super? One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Get to work. And please don't get the oxygen. All right. Good luck, boys. We're gonna be stopped, it looks like. That's okay though. We'll do we'll do something else while that's working its way out. Um let's check on the bees. Check on the bees. And on the sixth day, Drax created bees. And it was good. <laughs> bees! What the I didn't hit the button again. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Hello, sir. Can I get one of these? How about two? Huh? Oh, I hear a big rocket or something outside. Is the sky turning a different color? It's turning blue! Hold on, I gotta go outside for a second. Oh god. Wait, what? We were excited by this the last time. Oh boy. Um, if you brought Pulsar, I'll know that there is a great Santa in the sky. <laughs> okay, I mean, I'm down with... Whoa, 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 I'm working here. Boy, I'm almost... I'm, like, dead. Now that I don't need oxygen all the time, I like, don't pay attention to the other two things. Uncarmen. All right. Well, that's fine. It's a different color. Warning. Hydration level low. I don't need food or water. I am a space god. And I don't need the food or water. Space god Drax is here. Nope. 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 I noticed that you were... So, wait. This was just... Some, this is blue and sulfur. Okay, if I don't eat, I'm probably gonna have problems, right? Or drink water, at least. No one's gonna tell me what to do. Space blasphemy. 
I worship a golden space cow. Okay, what is with this piece of music? I'll pass. Thank you. Wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, so true, Nikki. So true. I will be a space ghost. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Okay. Um, I love this about the game, but I also, I'm also like, I feel like I, I weirdly babysit it thinking I'm going to get something amazing. We're going to get back to back storms. It's back to back. All right. I'll eat something fine. Man, it is, my eyes are burning walking into this room. Uh, all right, well, the sulfur and the... I mean, both those things coming out of the sky are great. I'm not... I'm not looking a Santa gift horse in the mouth, that's for sure. Or whatever the saying is. Is it really gonna... Like, I'm not going out there unless I hear explosions. What do we got? Nothing, because nothing was happening. Uncommon... Oh, I was building that stuff. That's what I was doing. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. How about... Can I get one more? Thank you. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, look at that. Like, the seam between the buildings was kind of crazy. Yes. Oh, no, not that. This. Good. Hi. Failure. Failure. Okay, and then my favorite thing in the whole game, let's recycle. I feel like we could build one of these beds. We just need a couple of super alloy here. Nope, one more click, thank you. Oh, and I think I actually have a there we go. Nice. All right. Here we go. Growing some food. Do do. Oh boy. These are not going to This is not going to be pretty, I think in the end, but we'll have a little bit of overlap, I'm sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um so we should cheat it to the end as much as possible. Hi. Um, why don't we grow some squash? Holy crap, we can build another one. We shouldn't be building squash. We should be building... Uh, well, squash is what I brought, so that's what we're going to grow. I think this looks okay. It's a lot nicer than this, like... I guess I could bring both of those up here. Uh, let's just, let's just make a little run around where all these things fell down and see if there's anything else rolling around on the ground over here. Hi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this guy right here. <clears throat> I break for sulfur. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Ever think maybe you're moving too fast and it's not painting into the ground? <laughs> All right, well, one piece of sulfur is worth it. Hi, I haven't cleaned out the tree bark in a long time. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh. I mean, those... Those we won't be able to ever be able to take out because you that's the only thing that's producing tree bark. And then I'm randomly putting the tree bark in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, this is we now we've got like little errands we've got to keep. We've got to keep we've got to keep these things 
un we just gotta keep on top of them. We need this meth. We need the methane. Okay. Uh, how many bees do we have? Two. We've got two down, so we need two two more bees total. Oh, that's disappointing. And that's not. Hello, recycler. You know, it's like disappointing, but also like pretty exciting. Like the failure makes me excited because I get to use the recycler. <laughs> oh, man. All right. I mean, just one more. We've got it. Let's, so we need, we need some seeds here. So we're growing this and this, we need this and we need two mushrooms, right? Yep. Mm -mm. You can't deconstruct because the inventory is full. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Hey, 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 wait, wait, are these not done? Or am I just, I'm too clicky? Oh, 83%. Oh, it's because I, what <clears throat> if I pull it out? Yeah, all right. It goes away. Oh, well, that's nice. Hey, it's nighttime. Beautiful. Just be, wait. Seriously? <laughs> did wait, did I bug the timer or something like that? Like I swear to god we had an entire hour or two without any without any uh asteroids at all and now it's like I need to catch up. I've got a whole queue of things that we didn't do. Damn. Uh okay, hold on. My bags are full. Are you serious? The rock is like in my way. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is, this is hilarious. Oh, that's a real rock. I can't move that. It's, get out of here. Yeah, hey, that's not good. Oh, in my hurriedness now, right? I'm like, I'm not making good decisions. I can't see. There we go. Uh, let's do this and there. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's dropping, It's dro I think it's dropping super. Well, my bags are like really full. Of course my bags are full. I'm also convinced that this is another one of these games where like, it's like his bags are full. Let's go ahead and drop some meteors on his head. Watch him try to figure out what to do. All right. Hello, what is this? Okay, I'll tell you it. Oh, so it's just, it's just blue that's falling out of the sky. Well, I mean. Did you not get the memo? I need quartz, man. I need some quartz crystal, some fine quartz crystal. This is hilarious. Are you building right there? No, you're not. Wait, isn't this the same thing that dropped the last time? Oh, I mean, I'm not complaining. This is great. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do do. Anywhere else? Anybody else? Do we got some some rocks over here? Hello. Cool. Thank you. Hmm. See, this fools you right here. That's cobalt. Don't pick that up. Cobalt's for suckers. Still think it'd be cool if you could mine the core of it. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Think that's it? I mean, there's this ridiculous... I think there was like another... I feel like there's another couple of hits somewhere. Let's just take a quick... Peruse over here. Hello, any more rocks? Remember when this used to seem so far away and now it's literally right next to us? What's up with this crazy song? Rare. Pick it up. Uncommon. 
Hydration levels low. Butterflies, butterflies, butterflies. Man, my bags are ridiculous. Uh, clicking, clicking, clicking. I'm picking up the allergies and not drinking the water. Oh my gosh. It's a little wonk. Oh, wait, what? Uh, how, what, how is this? Magical rocks. All right, I'll be right back. Bags are really full. Bags are really full. Let's do this. Let's build our first one of these. We got a lot of blue. Uh-huh. And that should, yeah, look at that. It cleared out some room. Good. Good, good, good. Really just struggling to keep my bags empty right now. For no reason to, which is kind of funny. <clears throat> All right, let's go get whatever's on the ground over here. Jeez. I mean, like, I don't, I still don't. I need to read why, what sparks them. Is it just completely random? Does it sense something is happening? Hi, oh, you're like a, hey, whoa, whoa, come here. Cool. Oh, not getting through there, all right. Yeah, oh, oh. What, it's like, oh, you need methane? No. How about we just give you nitrogen? Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'm feeling it too. I'm feeling it too. Okay, so just random bottles of water here. What are we doing? Is this full? Yeah, all right. Uh, let's sort this nonsense. We had that cobalt in there. That was a joke. We got we got punked by cobalt. Now who's the punk? Let's see what our B situation is up to. Um, another failure and another failure. Yikes. But where there's failure, whoops, there's excitement. I mean, I dare you to keep failing. Mm, research. Cool. I waited. You see this? I'm, I'm Look at how patient I am. Um, let's see. Uh, we don't need that guy either. So we need three more beds. There's a bed on the ground, on the ground out, out here. There was a bed on the ground. No, there's not a bed on the ground. Remember when we were getting like bombed? God, that was hilarious. Uh, oh, <laughs> I put that water away, but that was the water I was using to build these things. Hi, I need some water. Thank you. Not bad. Mm, looks like we're going to have a little bit of extra. What do we got here? What do we get? What do we get? I think this is going to hang over. Oh, need fertilizer tier two, please. Can we make it? We need a couple of these too, also, by the by. Uh, I wonder if there's extra sitting in the bin over there. Whoops. Cool. Okay, so now we have, we just need how many bees do we, we need two more bees because we need two more pads, right? And we've got bees in the 
We got bees in the hopper. So... Let's go see if we were successful. Uh, oh, we were successful here. Mm, man, it's like temp number 72. This would be, like, without this recycler, I would be like super frustrated because we'd have to be out there hunting for uncommons. This is, you know, this is why you watch streams. This is why you look at video, right? Like sometimes... I don't know that I would have ever, like on my own, would I have ever figured that out? Probably not. But like now that I know that one piece of, uh, like being able to recycle this, this silk, now that I have that one piece of information, like now I'm thinking everything I pick up, I'm like, could this be recycled into something else? <laughs> Oh, I wanted to do, we're going to get some, it's not going to be perfect. And so we're going to have a bit of an overlap. So let's just we'll build a couple of extra planks on the end there. Whoa, drone station. Get out of here. <laughs> Activates the logistics system and allows drone creation. This is huge. Drax? This is huge. <sighs> Magma. Mo <laughs> Molly. Uh, I really did not expect Keep to it get down over there. I'm watching Paul <laughs> I didn't. Like <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I didn't expect to get to drones tonight. That's crazy. That's so crazy. 78 and we're almost halfway to fish hey we got our last bee all right oh it's so cool so very cool um one of these beds right here uh, please And then, oh, good. We got enough. Good, good, good. And then if we want, we can expand this out further or to the side if we want. All right. This is this. And then these two guys are here. Good. How are we doing? Yeah, so now it's giving plants and insects. And then, geez, that crop was huge. Look at that. Uh, ridiculous. I mean, I'm gonna eat one of those. <laughs> All right. One more thing we have to but I mean, I think we're, these bins are full, right? We're producing, at this point, we're producing way more food than we actually need. Hi, I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you down now. You've done your job. I was just remembering yesterday when I was like, why is there this one that's always so slow? If you weren't here yesterday, this one on the end is always, it always produced food slower and it's because it's a tier one that I never changed out. And you can tell because one of them is white and one of them is orange. Oh my gosh. Is it really gonna... Yeah, it's it's really gonna storm again. It's hilarious. Yeah, there's a bunch of fertilizer that we'll get out of that, so that's that's excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And then some, there was some super that was... Each one of those took a super to build, and we know that because we left some on the floor here. 
The water, on the other hand. All right. So this is phase one of the cleanup, right? Do do. Wait, how's the? Did we? Oh, good. Oh, good. Look at that. Holy shit. <clears throat> Uh, and then we'll, I wish we could just take out, take out, take out. We got so many seeds. Ah, there's some, some, we left some on the ground. Cool. All right. Good. I mean, this is going to fill the seed thing up again. No, 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 no. We're, we're fine. We're fine. The food front, though. Where did that one aluminium come from? Random. Uh, yep. Good, good. And then... Food and food and food. Okay, cool. So, successfully moved the food outside. Um... And one of the reasons we did this is because I this the the beds grow more food per like four or five. And then they also generate the food capsules don't generate anything but just the food. And these these do plants per second, insert and, and insects per per second, and they also get food. So it's sort of a it's a threefer, if you will. So that's huge. It creates biomass, right? It all goes to the biomass number. Oh. So we can build. I mean, I think we can actually build the drone thing, which is insane to think about. Uh, and we've been able to build drones forever. So we can, we can definitely build that. What's it take to build a drone? Show me drones. We can build drones too. We can build drones too. So on my on my list of things today uh, was to convert the tree spreaders, which we did from tier two to tier three, and that was a little bit more intense than we thought because um, we ran out of power, and then we needed to find more of these crystals. Which reminds me, let's go out. Where did so we, we think at the moon station, it's not necessarily at the moon station either. Out there in that one lake, there was, let's go to the aluminum station. That'll get us closer. Hello. Let's clean this out. We were looking for quartz. We're just looking for it. And it, I, I think the consensus from everybody is that like, it's not easy to get a hold of. Need to build a deconstructor out here. Put that junk in there. Um, I don't want to. I want to go there. And so we've just we we went on a long journey around trying to find more quartz, and couldn't. And I think out in a lake under under the water there was a cave, and I could swear that it was spawning down there. So. We haven't been there for about an hour and a half. Let's make that our final little mission of the night. Let's run out there and see um, if it is indeed respawning. Let's just, let's store the stuff that came out of that. That's just one of the beauties of, that's one of the beauties of the teleporter is that like to go get aluminum, it takes one second now. Perfect. Um, this lake is over here somewhere. Should have built another teleporter, right? We also realized that I had never went back here <laughs> in my initial run. And the reason I never went back to this location is because I had been back here during my initial, my first playthrough. And I, I don't remember, like, there's nothing in this thing. It's just it's just cool. Either that or I haven't found it. Like, I guess I didn't fly up to this part. Let's just go take a look around over here. But in this lake over here, there was some quartz that was down underwater. And I could swear 
that it was, oh yeah, look, there's a door right there I didn't go into. How did I go past this the first time? I swear, I'm the worst explorer of all time. Okay, yeah, this is... I don't know about this stuff, but we'll take... We'll take this. Hi, yeah, I didn't... I'm not... Oh boy, is this going to be like huge and... Oh yeah, here's another door that'll open. All right, good stuff. Really good stuff. And then we read some note somewhere that said, behind a television screen there was a wall that breaks down. So now every time I see a wall, I'm trying to near a television screen. Trying to take it down, right? Whoa, look, it's underwater. Cool. Oh, that's really cool. Hi, we just like to get, can we, no, seriously? Is it just not, what do we, what, how do we, hmm. I didn't want to get in there anyway. Yay, yay, yay. Is this thing destructible? Is there something destructible here? Oh, there we go. Uh, mm, this, and this, I mean, this fertilizer is actually, like, now that we've kind of had to make a bunch of it, it's not the easiest thing to get a, should, should have built a constructor, or should have built a uh, teleporter here. This is cool. It's like half in, half out. Well, hilarious again. Oh my god, it's huge. All right, let's. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can we take this? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Let's come back. <laughs> Oh my god. I was just gonna run over here and see if there's any more quartz, but it's too funny. Okay. Uh, a bunch of- another, like, uh, this has been the night of, like, I've- I've seen the whole map, I've explored everything. No, I haven't. Gauge already full. I like how it- oh, did you see it, like? Uh, it doesn't render in, so you can see the boxes you have laid down. <laughs> I love watching you adventure, <laughs> do you? <laughs> you love me going, wait a minute, how did I, I mean, I literally walked right by that two hours ago. <laughs> see. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, unbelievable. Drax the Explorer is like, <laughs> uh, there's bars of gold in front of me, and I'm, like, not paying any attention to it. Mm -mm, thick forest. Hey, mutagen T2. Sweet. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, holy shit. Just picked up a bunch of stuff I didn't think I was going to pick up. That's great. Look at all that. Look at all that fertilizer. Let's go ahead and sort this. And then these are good too. And another, we've got a whole thing of engines now, which is going to come in handy when we start building um, drones, huh? Drones. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, got a bar here, some reds and some greens, which you haven't seen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time we had this, I just built another reactor. We're going to throw that in there for now. It's too much. The red and the green is full. Uh, um, look away. We're misfiling now. <laughs> Aluminium. Why did I bring this back? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's full. There. Hi. Yeah, I don't. How are we doing here? And then, wait, how did I not put that in there? Cool. 
So what should we do? Like I'm kind of tempted. I feel like there's a bunch of stuff out there. So do we take the, do we take three pink and build ourselves a little teleporter. Ooh, 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 ooh. Super alloy, which we just pulled out of there, right? One of these, one of these rods and then a white, right? Yeah. And then go back out there and instead of running back and forth, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm not saying we're going to do this now, but like this is sort of future proofing this expedition under the ground. I'm going to grab some water. Don't go the wrong way. So we're still at, like, we're at 82 GTI, top right corner, uh, which is our terraforming score. And quartz is something like 180 or something like that. And I, mean, I guess the good news is the number's going to keep going because we're, we're going to spend the next... We're, we're going to spend next week messing with drones and, uh, and I, I'd like to, I'd like to finish the game and unlock everything and then move on to our next game and then obviously come back when, when it's done. All right. This is what I had been doing, which is the smart thing, right? Building a tele, <laughs> building a teleporter and then filling our bags and. Let's let's get it all this time. Leave no seed unturned. Oh, I just just like cheat through it. <laughs> it's like not really there. Uh hello, did I miss anything over here? No, just it's connect it's all connected. I don't really want all these seeds, but. Mm -hmm. Hello? Whoa. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Oh, I kind of remember this. Uh, anyone else spooked out? <laughs> Blueprint. Is that all that's down here? Oh, could have turned your light on, huh? Yikes. Okay. There's a storm outside. Man, it's hilarious. Hey, wait a minute. Well, how did I miss that box? Cool. Oh, it's because I didn't, I didn't come through this. Let's stick our head out and get some oxygen, huh? All right, let's... Is, is this going to be a jerk and like start dropping pink stuff? Yep. Oh my god, look at this. How full of our bags. Son of a... Can we... Nope. Peter T5. This is going to drop quartz. Alright, we got to come back quickly for that. Of course. Phew. Uh, hi. Uh, whoops, hi. We are in a bit of a rush to get rid of all the things that are in our bags. Do do. The light is on, which is embarrassing. Sorry. Um, wait. There's a thing full of engines. We'll put that in there. Where's this? This. Oh boy, we need to go back. We need to go back. We're coming, we're coming. Oh. Okay, 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 yes. Hello, yes, please, please, please. Uh, this is what I wanted the whole game. All right, we got one. Waiting for this giant asteroid to drop. Uh, is it going to give us just one? Come on. I put the time in. 
Oh. Oh, there's another one there. Two, oh, three, oh, four, five. Jackpot, jackpot. Hmm, so glad we came back here. So I wonder, like, every time the sky turns this pink color, this asteroid's happening somewhere, but I just sometimes I just don't see it. Hmm. What do we think? Do we think the f do we think five was the number? I mean, this stuff is like. I'd wait around here for an hour for them to show me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Six. Five. Six. Seven. Okay. All right. Um, that's the biggest. That's the biggest amount I've ever pulled from one of these. It helps that it's like in a barren desert, right? Easy to find. Let us, let's pop back down in here for a sec. Actually, let's do this because we can drop this pink off really quick. Look at that. It's like the most we've ever had, right? Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, come on. And one of these here. Okay, all right, all right. What do you think? Do you think there's seven? Seven? I don't think there's going to be any more than seven. Yeah, I think we probably... Unless there's one, like, underneath a rock, right? I think we probably got them all. Well, that was epic. What a... Great time that was. Sweet. Hi. What are you, common? Okay, get out of here. All right. Um, wait a minute. It respawned the crate. It respawned that one, too. It's funny. All right. Now we're into... Oh, great. Another letter. Uh, anybody want to... Take a hydration level low. I'm underwater. Today was the inauguration of the space warp gate. It took two years to build it, and finally we would be able to easily cross uh, the prime sector. But just after we turned on the main power reactor, everything went to shit. The power immediately went down. All the reactors and stabilizers broke, and within a few minutes... How is he writing this? Uh, and the spaceship was inexplicably drawn to the closest planet... We tried everything to fix it, but it seems there is nothing we can do. All the crew has escaped in the escape pods. Oh, thank Jehovah. I sent a distress signal. I'm going to my pod now, too. What a waste. All these months of work are gone to be are going to be lost. I can't understand. What happened? This shouldn't have happened. 3034. Well, at least he got away. He's like the there's like the one message where the guy's like, well, I got off the planet. Oh boy. Um, and all that reading, I need a little bit of oxygen. I need some water too. Oh, I'm standing in water. Unbelievable. <laughs> I need some water too. Where would I find it? Okay. Um, what's in here? We'll take all of it and the box. And then these are computer chips. Hooray. Yes, yes, yes. And here's another fusion reactor that I think we can... Yeah, so we'll need another... And I wonder if it's going to take the core when it powers these things on. I can't wait to mess with that. That's going to be fun. And then... Oh, more. Hello. Cool, cool. And then just some random shit Jim left on the ground. Do, do, do. And then we were, down, we were down that crazy dark hole. And... I think that's it. I think... I think that's... Oh, yeah, there's a computer chip. We don't need it. We don't need it. Um, anything over here? Anything we missed over here? These boxes are empty, but they keep respawning, which is hilarious. It's fun for the whole family. 
All right. Um, clear? Clear. These doors are going to open when we fire them up. I can't wait to see what's behind them. Like, what, what more can be there, right? Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right. Um, hmm. Now I'm thinking we should leave this here. I mean, there's no love loss at this point. Home. We can always pull it out if we need to. So we've got an entire thing of computer chips now. It's too full. We'll put it over here. And then this, this is what I wanted the whole day. And now we've kind of filled a case full of it, which we're going to go through pretty quickly because we're going to build drones. Is the sky un unbelievable with these storms today? Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Did we have a... No. Well, we're done with the bees. Okay. Halfway to the fish. Hold on a second. Let's do this. Let's hit save. Let's get rid of this storm, right? We're, we're, we're wrapping it up over here. Come on. Okay. Halfway to fish. Our starting number on the GTI today was... Are you ready? 32. It's 86. 86. Uh, I wasn't even thinking we would unlock anything. But we... Yeah, Hacksaws is right. It's insane. Like, we unlocked tier, th tier 3 tree spreaders, the rod, a fusion energy cell, and the drone station. Um, but, I mean, we're still really... Far. Like, Aquarium's 140. 175 is uh, Pulsar Crystals. And then everything else is sort of, eh, you know... What we're going to work on now is biomass. The The fish stuff's going to be fun too. So yeah, we still have drones, fish um, to do. And I think we'll do all of that next week. I, I think by this time next week, next Thursday, I think we'll have, uh, we'll be running the credits. I think this, I think we'll have done it. I think we'll have won the game. I think, I think uh, we'll achieve that high score. I'm excited to see what the fish are like. Um, yeah, really, really successful run. And a, and a great time too. I, I mean, I had fun. We explored way more than I thought we would. And um, if you're not, uh, like I said before, I, I think if you're gonna if you're gonna go out there and clean up everything, just take a pocket teleporter with you, and then just teleport in, clean everything out, and then move to the next location with with your teleporter. I mean, if if the quartz was like in abundance, you would just leave them. I, I got you're probably at some point. I probably your food level is low. At some point, you probably will just have them everywhere, right? Because You'll have enough, but right now we do not. Right now we do not. Uh, excellent. Let's find somebody to raid. Let's see. Let's see who's. Let's see who's about, shall we? Who's around? Who's playing the video games? Do, 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 do. Uh, if you want to see a quick video about the birthday content, I made um, Satisfactory turned a year old this month, and they did a cool little like bunker birthday event. It's really quick, and so I took um, I took some video, and I cut together just our experience or my experience. So it's fun. Uh, you can head over there and check it out. Drop a like and a follow and a comment and ten dollars. I don't I don't know. What else do you drop, right? Your drawers. Uh I'd really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed what you saw here, uh you can always uh hit the little follow button and then you'll get you know, you could get a notification when I go live the next time. And when is the next time you ask? Sunday. We're gonna play Ostrov. We played it last Sunday. We're gonna play it this Sunday. It's a little city builder uh, made by a, a Ukrainian developer who's fantastic. We played. We'll play about two hours on Sunday. I do a real short stream on Sunday. It's. I create usually create some content out of it, and then we're back next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, six p.m. Uh, in the in the uh, where are we in the European time zone, which is noon, high noon on the east coast of America. Um. Wow. What is he playing? Undead Horde 2. Has anyone heard of that game? Me neither. Let's just look really quick at the directory of... Hey! 
let's look at the planet crafter directory and see if there's anybody in here we want to we want to see Drax. Drax. <laughs> First play through some planet crafter. Do do do. Do 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 do. <laughs> um Let's yeah, let's go to let's let's go. They are like in the very beginning of the game. So if you're in it to win it, I like to stay in the directory, right? And then Twitch is broken. Hashtag Twitch is broken. I can't even see that the raid has started, which was happening to other streamers last night too. Um that's where we're headed. Uh, can everyone else see that the raid is ticking? Did I do it right? Oh, I didn't do it right. Hilarious. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> All right, that's where we're going, and soon Drax will figure out how to get the raid going. Yeah, our invalid username. Oh my god. Someone named Drax does not know how to use the internet. All right, there we go. <laughs> um, thank you, everybody, for coming. I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful evening or day. Uh, have a great weekend. Maybe stop by and see me on Sunday. If not, I'll see you next week. And um, let's say hello to the. Let's say hello to to Julie and, and, uh, and say some kind words and, um, thank you for hanging out and we'll see you next time.